Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're getting into the thick of it. It's now my turn to put people on hold. I'm done. I'm done being put on hold myself. All right. I'm I'm sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of being put on hold. Hold on. This this music is a little bit too loud for me. A little bit too loud. <clears throat> my my um I think it's a little bit funny today. <clears throat> it actually feels kind of weird. It feels like it's getting like it feels like it's getting like grabbed and stretched. My voice sounds a little funny. Maybe it's because I've been talking a lot. But, uh, hello, this is Goobin. Hi, good evening, good afternoon, good morning. I'm, I'm, this is as loud as I can talk today. Oh, music ended. Wait, what's going to play after this? Uh oh, nothing. It doesn't play anything. All right, well, I'll take that as my cue. I'll take that as my cue to just jump into the game. All right. We're here. A freaking, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I just got hired for this job. I don't know what to do just yet. Hold on, let's watch the television tel television commercial first. Make sure, but let me make sure I know what I'm doing. All right. All right. Hazards such as house fires. Okay. Uh, flooding. All right, that makes sense. Black mold? You don't you definitely don't want that in your showers. I have many of it. Metamorphosis. Oh. It becomes statistic. Call the home safely hotline and keep your family safe. 555 home safety. Alright guys, write that down. We're gonna need to know that from me. Is my home safe? I have no idea. Also high magic. Uh but I it's not about my home, okay? It's about other people's homes. We're about to find out. Let me check my mailbox. It's not? Well, that's why I got my 22 long rifle caliber in my, in my freaking six pack of just American beer. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, maybe a little bit too powerful. It's a little bit too powerful, this beer. <laughs> oh, you're inside. Get out. You don't pay rent. Welcome. <clears throat> wow, that ruined my throat. Welcome to the Home Safety Hotline family. We are pleased to have you aboard as our brand new Home Safety Hotline responder. Your supervisor's name is Carol Regina. Regina? It is Regina, right? How do you know? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sensing it. I'm sensing. She'll be calling your. She'll be calling you today to brief you on your duties. We'll be reviewing your work daily to ensure maximum accuracy. God damn it! Uh, what the fuck did I drink, <laughs> guys? I'm at my bottom. I'm at, I'm at my, I'm at my, uh, what, what's the opposite of the hill? My valley? I'm at my valley right now. I opened up a Red Bull. <laughs> and it almost killed me. <laughs> I took a sippy and I died. I don't know if I can handle another sip. Oh God. As a reminder, responses with a 90% accuracy rate or more will qualify to receive our daily employee coupons. Yo, I like coupons. Uh, let's see. Attention call team. Due to an error with our archival network, some of you may notice video files from our video. Please disregard these. They'll be cleared up in due time. All right. Sounds good. This is my call center job again. It's all over. It's all over now. Hold on. I don't know if I can handle this. <laughs> this Red Bull might be a little bit too much for me. All right, let's just get in there. Let's just get in the game. Moon day. It's a moon day now. <clears throat> Welcome up, Lloyd. It's being shift. Please clock in below. All right. There we go. I clocked in at uh at the dead of midnight just so I could get some extra hours. All right. So we got we got here's our entries over here. We got we got a couple we got a couple pesticide bed bugs. My nemesis. I fucking hate these things, guys. I've lost like thousands of dollars due to bed bugs. It's not a pretty sight. Don't joke around with bed bugs. They'll follow you to the ends of the earth. These fuckers can survive anywhere. <laughs> these guys could be anywhere. Oh shit. Hold on. I'm getting a phone call. Hello. Hello. Okay, you go ahead. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call 
I lost my place. There it is. Uh-huh. Sure we'll talk again. I'll uh I'll be honest, Carol. I wasn't paying attention for half the conversation. I was nodding my head and not even reading the things while you were blabbing about something. Uh okay, some people call and I listen to concerns and I, yeah, I got never mind, I don't fucking need this shit. Alright, so anyway, a bed bugs, guys. Alright, listen okay, sit down, guys. I need to tell you the the terrors that are bed bugs. Bed bugs are small insects known for feeding on the blood of humans and other mammals and their tendency to inhabit some I could do you mind? Whatever. Let's get this call out of the way. John here. My wife insists. Hey, John. I call this number. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coffee to me. I don't know. You coffee to you? Me, I guess. All right. So I'm gonna put you on hold. <laughs> put you on hold. So it could be black mold. It says looks like coffee meat. It's definitely not bed bugs. I'll tell you that. Those fuckers don't hide. They 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 uh they kill. Actually they do hide. But if they are not hiding, that means your home's entirely fucked at that point. Let's do oh man, how many oh my god. Alright, I don't think it's black mold. I'm reading this now. It, it looks like it's just literally black mold. Alright, termites. Termites are decaying uh danger are harmless to humans, but the damage they can cause can be removed using co okay, no. Nothing here that would be... It has to look like coffee beans or coffee grounds, whatever it is. Oh, hold on. We can listen to what this mole sounds like. Oh, that's adorable. But I don't think mole's in your house. Check, get that checked out by somebody else. All right, uh, housefly? All right, so houseflies... Well, houseflies are houseflies. Are no immediate danger to humans, but are known to carry diseases. If you only have a kitchen to other areas used to prepare food, increasing any risk of disease. All right, so it's definitely not houseflies. All right, what the fuck is this? <laughs> John, is it cockroaches? You know, it might be like the the shit that they drop. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Yeah, that. Once you live in like a household in like the forest or any countryside, you'll see a bunch of these fuckers. They'll be everywhere. All right, I got it. It's a, it's a cockroach, man. I don't even have to confirm. Here we go. Is this Terraria music? What am I listening to? <laughs> what is this hold music? Uh, Infest successfully sends it to the client. Good job. Yes, getting paid the big bucks. Oh, wow, man. I'm getting so many calls. Hi, I'm Grace. So sorry. My name is Grace, and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. All right. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds Your kind attic? Of like E? It's probably nothing. I'm it's sure the mole. It just be regular old house noises, but no. I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. Okay, okay, hold on. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. I'm pretty sure it's the mole. Watch this. Oh, it's actually probably the mice, but he'll, I just want to listen to the mole again. Oh, he's so adorable. Okay, it's definitely the mice. Yeah, that's definitely it. Yeah, that's what it is. But let's read up. Since we have a since we solved this crime so easily, let's read up on the mice. Mice are small, worthless rodents. Oh, I know that. Commonly found in the household. Homeowners with a mice infestation commonly report gnaw marks, small round droppings, and sounds of squeaking. Mice are capable of carrying any number of diseases, so they serve as an indirect danger to most humans and should be dealt with immediately. Gun them down if you have to. Solution. Uh pesticides. You add a cat, get a Thomas and Jerry kind of thing. Get get bait traps, cheese. Uh, these can prove effective in small populations. Large mice infestation should be dealt with our own service. Sounds good. All right, so you have a bunch of mice in your fucking attic. How about you go fix them? Hmm, it ain't my problem anymore. I told you what it is. I'm getting paid. Bada bing. See ya, Grace. I hope you have fun with that info because now you're gonna be terrified that you have mice in your attic. That would, that would worry me. That would worry me to hell. All right, who's next? Hank oh, Hank. Last week Hank, I you look a little serious. Some crap in my yard. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. Hank, you I don't like the tone you're taking with me. Nothing. 
Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. I don't like your tone. I don't like your aggressive tone. So be put on hold. All right, guys, I'm going to get myself like a smoke. Uh, we're going to do like a smoke break real quick. Uh, anyone want some donuts? Uh, fuck Hank. You know, Hank can wait a few hours. Uh, that's what he'll have to do after that bullshit. I think it's a mole. I read up on the mole earlier. All right, let's read up on moles. Moles are small, d dark brown furry mammals with pointed pink muscles that are known for living in deep burrows. Their burrows tend to look like volcano-shaped mounds. They are known to eat insects. Moles are capable of biting humans and spreading deadly diseases. Huh, such as rabies. Sick. So caution around them is advised. They also have close relationships to the ones beneath the soil, which can cause further danger for... <laughs> well, I must have misread that. Hold up. <clears throat> They also have close relations to the ones beneath the soil, which can cause further damage if provoked. One Whatever. The solution. Moles are persistent and cannot usually be persuaded to leave on their own. Guys, I'm not getting paid to question what this says on these files. I'm just reading it, alright? However, moles can be trapped and removed manually using a variety of com com commune... Com com I have the dyslexia text on and I'm still fucking this up. Common humane mammal traps. Warning. Never kill a mole. One who can, who can utilize HSH's pest removal service. Hmm. Does it, by brown, does he mean like the hillsides? Or does he mean like shit? Crap in my yard. He says crap in his yard. There's more piles of crap in here. I'm talking huge browns of... Maybe it's not the mole. At least, I hope not. What about raccoons? Oh, he's so adorable. I love this little boy. All right, raccoons are small nocturnal mammals with gray and brown fur. Yeah, fuck Hank. Hank can wait. <laughs> I don't care about Hank. Known for their tendency to rummage through garbage cans or nests in the attic. This definitely is not. What about termites? Termites, maybe? Mm, nah, looking at the picture of the termites doesn't really get me thinking that's it. Oh, it's a tick. Okay. see carpenter ants i don't i don't fucking know what it could is it is it actually i doubt these carpenter ants poop huge loads of brown oh, wait gopher it's a gopher oh look at that it's definitely this guy yeah that's a gopher kind of hey, hank you're dealing with a gopher kind of problem let's read up on them though gophers are small brown furry animals within large Front teeth are known for living in burrows. They can also become a pest to owners when they choose to burrow on their property, commonly endangering gardens. Gophers are capable of biting humans and spreading deadly diseases such as rabies. Sick. So caution around them is advised. Do not attempt to approach a gopher directly. To evict gophers from their burrows, a variety of natural deterrents can be placed around your property. Growing plants to repel gophers, such as sage or thawing, can also uh, serve to persuade gophers to move away from your property. For more persistent infestations, use our guns. Fuck, I don't know what it could be, actually. Hold on. I'm talking huge boss brow. I don't know. Crap in my yard. I was told it wasn't. Well, guess what? There's more crap in my yard. Hmm. <laughs> what if it is a raccoon? Yeah, no. No, I'm, I'm doubling down. Never second guess your... Oh, that scared me. Never second guess yourselves. We're going to go with the mole. <laughs> if, if they are the mole, at least he knows not to mess with them, you know? It's a mole. There. Oop. It's a mole. Huge pile brown. It's this guy. He's gonna die. Alright, looks like we have some downtime. So let's go ahead and look at uh, houseflies. Houseflies are small creatures. They're no... Oh. Didn't even get to read that. Who is it this time? Who the... Yeah. Better head on over and catch it, big fella. Fucking fucking stupid kids trying to prank me. I'm trying to I'm working my nine to five. Nine PM to five AM right now, okay? Oh, this is not getting any better drinking this Red Bull. Oh god. Help. <laughs> it's killing me. Hey, do you guys have hey, a Tim. lawn mowing service or something? My good for nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kids are too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. Stress of the 
this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? Uh, p hold on. Oh, uh, huh? <laughs> what do I do about this one? It looks like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick. I thought, what? 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 Uh, what the? Is it a gopher? Hold on. Dear sir, it could be a gopher. Commonly damaging. What the fuck does he mean that it's a rainforest? Looking like a rain. What does a, what does a rainforest look like? Uh, I'm, I'm not, not kidding. What does a rainforest look like? <laughs> How does your lawn look like this? How does your lawn look like this? I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what this means. This guy's so screwed. Hmm. We're never gonna get the daily. We're never gonna get the daily bonus now. Oh. Okay. Looking like a rainforest. What did he mean by that? Black mold? Could it be perhaps he has the black mold? Must the allergic reactions or breathing problems? It's not immediately dangerous, but enough of it can damage the hospital and treasure days. Also, non cause reactions from breathing problems. Uh, it's actually, yeah, what the f what the who? I just tell him to screw off. We don't serve. Fix? Fix. The hell? Lyme disease! I'm trying to look for something that looks like rainforest or something. I don't know. I, I didn't have enough time to read these. All right, let's just read the raccoon. Usually their feces can contain. Oh, it was, it was, it was, hmm. Raccoons are capable of biting humans and spreading deadly diseases such as rabies, so caution about them is advised. Additionally, their feces can contain deadly parasites, which, if accidentally inhaled or ingested, can cause progressive neurological damage to humans or eventual death. Yeah, that guy, I think that Hank guy, I told him the wrong one, but who cares? Who cares about Hank? He was giving me some food. Raccoons are quite intelligent and thus are quite tricky to remove from home safety. Preventative measures include securing trash cans and blocking any potential outdoor access to attics. It's highly advised to utilize HDS or whatever. Hey, we got, we got, what the fuck is this thing supposed to be? What, what do you mean it looks like a rainforest up there? Are you talking about like house spiders? <laughs> you know what? That's it. I'm selling on gopher. It's gophers. It's, it's gophers. For sure. Hold on. Let me just make sure there's no secret option A, such as humans. <laughs> It's gonna be gopher. Fuck you. Be gone. Calling me to ask about some lawn mowing service. I'm summoning some gophers. My ship descended. Nice! 75%? That's honestly better than I thought. It's honestly way better than I thought. Yeah, let's clock out. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go. Although I didn't get the bonus, I still was as we're still passing grade. That means not all of them ate shit today. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's take a look at our mailbox here. Quit before it's too late. You don't know me, but I used to have your job. You are in danger. Quit today before it's too late. You do not know enough. It's not too late Try to quit. I live. It's supposed to be. Hmm. That was that's strange. Strange, strange spam email. I would have expected one of like some some uh some prince in some faraway country or something. I was just no. It's gonna open my Discord, isn't it? <laughs> Let's not do that. Never gonna ignore that email. It's a good thing I can't read whatever that was. Probably Simlish. Day two. Welcome, employee. Yep, clocking in. Let's get that bread. All right, so let's read up on some things I didn't read up before. All right, we got bees. Okay, we got to learn about bees. Bees are small matriarchal, matriarchal flying insects known to build large hive structures in high places, often in trees, attics, or roofs. They might they might have been bees earlier if I just read the thing. Damn. Oh, hey. Let's see what we got. Hello, it's Carol again, your supervisor. Thank I God I didn't get fired. Know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard 
information. Thank God. Be aware that this information is confidential and not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the client that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Not I see. More. Yeah, that makes Thank sense. You. It's like it's like when you know when you make a product. It's like when you make a product and you know that it has an issue, but you don't want to tell your customers that it has that issue because they're never going to see it. But you don't want to tell them that because they're gonna be like, I don't know. <laughs> it seems kind of bed teeth. What the, what the fuck is that? Do you guys see that? Bed teeth are a rare kind of household fungus known for growing in small cone like shapes on the underside of bed sheets, blankets, or comforters. Homeowners infested with bed teeth often report. Right, hold on, we gotta take up this call. I... Hey, Mike. Sorry, I'm a... It's the black mold. Uh, calling to see if it's you black mold. <laughs> I can do to... <laughs> Mike, you've got the Sorry. black lung, man. Uh, anything you can do to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something because I cannot stop sneezing. In the past, I haven't had yeah. any problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Please hold. hold on, I might as well check everything. It could be bats, for all we know. But let me finish up reading on bed teeth. Bed teeth are interesting, okay? Uh, homeowners infested with bed teeth often report mild discomforts when sleeping, such as tickling or itching. And more rarely, slimy acidic redo on their skin. I don't know, that sounds kind of like bed bugs. I don't know. <laughs> Eww, bed bugs. Ugh. I don't like seeing them on the entry list. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down. Bed teeth are not directly harmful to most humans, given their brief sleeping schedules. However, they tend to grow, uh, they gradually grow sharper over time if left untreated, which can lead to infections in the open wounds they cause. To prevent the growth of bed, bed teeth, bed, bed sheets and blankets should be washed regularly and inspected for rare, more persistent growths. Vested covers should be scrubbed thoroughly or disposed of entirely. Just burn that fucker. You, he has most definitely the black mold. <laughs> Nothing it caught. Yeah, we've read of this. Okay. I'm gonna be up on carbon monoxide. It apparently has some kind of audio sample. Let's listen to it. Yep, that's uh, that makes sense. That's carbon monoxide. All right, I know that anywhere. Carbon monoxide (CO) is an invisible and odorless poisonous gas. It's produced when a fossil fuel is burned. CO buildup can be caused by poorly installed maintain slash maintain stove and water heater appliances or result of poor ventilation homeowners affected by co poisoning will often report headaches disney dizziness or lethargy 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 yes they sure didn't check if i could read for this job <laughs> carbon monoxide can cause death in humans and pets with enough exposure it is a deadly serious threat and homeowners should take precautions to build this build up all right so it's, it's not it's not any of this okay what's a common hob what the? What the fuck? Huh? What? We'll get to that later. What's a desk cob? What? Ooh. <laughs> Wait. Ugh. Yeah, we'll read about those later. I think, uh... I... What the fuck is that? All right, so we're we're in like level two territory, it seems. I I see, I see, I see. Okay, let's let's first tell this guy he's got the black lung. All right, you got black lung, man. All right, good. All righty then, we can finally read up on. I guess we'll start with cellular growth. Or cellular growth, my bad. Cellular growths are large species of fungi that are known to grow in the dark. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh, it's Tim. Hey, yeah, you back brain sent me some info when I was asking for some lawn care. Now my whole family's sick to our stomachs and itchy as all get out. <laughs> yeah. That's not my fault. Nothing, jerk. I sent you info because you called the info hotline. <laughs> You called the home safety hotline, not the lawnmower. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to say. That's not my fault. All right, anyway. Homeowners infested with cellular growths commonly report a slimy residue, the sound of dripping or stretching, or strange grows, strange clothes coming from their cellar. 
As cellar growths most commonly grow in ceilings, their weight can often cause to rest to a home's foundation, and as such, the removal should be prioritized. The slimy residue they drip onto the floor can also be toxic to small mammals or human children. Oh, hey, hold on. We got a caller. All right, caller. Tell me what you got. Do you know if there's such a thing as house saves that clean? Like, maybe to disguise the robbery? Uh -huh. At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but oh, no. when I go look at it, oh, it's no. spotless. But haven't you found anything missing? Oh, no, I've no, 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 no. Cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Is there something you can do? You're most Please definitely, hold. definitely, most definitely, hang. You most definitely got a common hob. This fucker. Let's read up on this guy. Oh, what is this? Yeah, we're, we're getting some new vibes here. We got some new, we got some new hold music. Common hobs are the most common species of hob found in the household. They are small humanoid creatures with great burlap-like skin and small, veritable tufts of hair on their head. They have no false face. They're known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt, and com common sticky substances found on floors and dishes, cleaning them in the process. They generally only come out at night. Hops are not dangerous to humans on their own. If provoked, however, they are capable of mischievous acts and mm, meta metamorphosis. Guys, that's that's what one of my that was one of the things we got to watch out for, guys. Got to be careful. Hops cannot be compelled to leave on their own once nest, nested in a home. Instead, one should take measures to prevent provoking metamorphosis by leaving out a bowl of cream or milk at night. Lady, it's time for you to move. <laughs> it's time for you to leave. Get yourself a different... Di go to an apartment if you must. All right. Let's read up on desk cops. What are they, what are they different for? God damn it. Who the fuck? Yeah, Buzz, Buzz Goober? I see that. I think he's undergoing metamorphosis. What? <laughs> I think that was a that was a prank call too. Buzz Goober is not a real name. If your name is Buzz Goober, I hate to tell you you have to change it. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. All right, so these subspecies of hops are known to inhabit it, inhabit desk vanities and other similar structures. They regularly like to tidy their homes and will frequently sort and order materials on the desk they're liking. They are physically similar to other hops, but are generally much smaller and have raspy, loose hair. They do not bear a false face. What does that mean? Hello. I don't know what's going on inside my house. I hear something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedposts. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Help me, please. All right, let's please see. Uh, gonna put you on hold here. Uh, what 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 would make sense? Let's take a look at our list here. Let's start there. It could be a stair slug. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> It's definitely not this, but let me let me listen to it just to make sure. That's Grody. Uh, let's let's read up on stair slugs. She can wait. Stair slugs are large dog-sized slugs that are uh, commonly known to occupy stairwells and basements. Homeowners invest with stair slugs commonly report a slimy residue on steps or other household inclines. Stair slugs can be beneficial to a household. Oh, really? As they frequently feed on other pests such as mice and hobs. Oh, guys, we got a way to remove the hobs. We just send the slugs after them. <laughs> but the slimy residue they leave behind can lead to dangerous accidents and split slippage if not properly cleaned after. Okay, but that's just like a regular... That's just a regular danger, though. If you could remove these little goblins you got in your home with slugs, that'd be super, super cool. Should you wish to remove a stair slug from the household, one can simply surround the affected stairway with a thick barrier of salt do not attempt to apply salt directly after the salt has dehydrated itself you can dispose of its body okay that's pretty metal okay all right all right it's definitely not stair slugs but it's cool what about a pipe hop who the fuck what the hell just there it's just there let's listen to the recording shall we Oh, 
terrifying. This might be it. Pipe hobs are a subspecies of hob that are known for making home inside tube-like structures such as pipes. They bear no false face. I still don't know what that means. And are much smaller than most hobs. They will commonly emerge from their homes at night and consume any dirt, grime, and hair in the surrounding area, cleaning it in the process. Pipe hops are not a direct danger to humans, but their physical presence can sometimes cause leaks or clogs over time. If provoked, they could also cap they could also do, you know, mischievous acts or metamorphosis. Pipe hops cannot be compelled to leave on their own once nested. Instead, one should take measures to prevent provoking. Okay, it's the same stuff as by leaving out a clipping of hair. Damn. What about pipe growth? That just looks like a pregnant pipe. I don't like the look of that. Let's look away from that. Uh, it could be house fire. <laughs> Lady, your house might be on fire. <laughs> I hate to inform you, lady, but your house is just on fire. Uh, teeth marks on bed. Let's see. Fracture hob? What the fuck? <laughs> this guy looks like he's part of the, uh, what's it, what's it called? What's that movie called? I forget now. The Trolls? I don't remember. This guy, this guy definitely looks like he's part of like a Pixar movie or something. Let's listen to what he does. All right. Fracture hops are a subspecies of hob that are known to cause cracks and fractures inside the walls of the home they inhabit. They're physically similar to other hobs in stature and size, with the exception of generally longer wild hair locks. Yeah, it's pretty cool. They also bear a false face. They bear a false face. Still don't know what that means. Fracture hops are not dangerous on their own, but the fractures and cracks they cause can... So they're just kind of assholes. They live in your house for... Free... They're just freeloaders, like roommates. Ah, that does suck. Damn it. I need to find teeth marks. Who the heck... These guys don't bite things. It is advice to leave out a slice of cheese every night. <laughs> okay. False beat. False beasts are creatures with a beet light appearance that are known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them by disguising themselves among their vegetables. What? False beasts are harmless unless eaten by a human, at which point they will take root in the human's stomach, feeding off its nutrients for its lifetime. This can also cause digestive issues and potential back problems over the course of the human's life. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it looks like I'm just never gonna eat a beet in my life ever again. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna avoid those. False beasts only find themselves in gardens that grow beets. If you do not wish to contend with false beasts, it is advised to avoid growing beets. A swallowed false beet cannot be removed without killing its host. Yeah, it seems kind of one of those things where I just don't want to eat a beet anymore. Oh, a bat. That might be it. Oh, look at him. He's so adorable. What, what, what problem could happen with having a bat in your home? All right. Bats are a general term for a variety of species of nocturnal flying mammals. Bats can be identified by their unusually large ears, wings, and dark fur. Bats most commonly find their way inside the home during their hibernation period before winter. One minute, Michelle! I'm getting your information right now, okay? Homeowners with a bat infestation will commonly report sounds of scratching or flapping at night and sightings of small dry pellet droppings. Bats are more dangerous than most household pets given their ability to fly, bite, and spread diseases such as rabies. Ah, oh, rabies again. Get that bingo card for rabies. They also commonly have associations with the ones above the soil. Ones below the soil, ones above the soil. Increases the potential danger significantly. Bats are dangerous, stubborn, and difficult to remove safely. And should not be removed without the help of a professional. Utilize H... Yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know that you will. Well, shite. What could it... It's definitely not frozen pipes, for fuck's sake. <laughs> definitely not that. Is it a bite spider? They found teeth marks on my bed. So it has to be something that bites. It has to be something that bites. Something that crawls in the walls. It's probably a gopher. If all else fails, the gopher prevails. Hold on. Okay. I'm not sure. These guys have large teeth, okay? Well, what if... Wait. What, what, what if it's a mole, though? Ah, oh, the mole again. Most capable of biting humans. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Raccoon. You know, it could be a raccoon. It's about time. Uh, you said it could be an addict's 
Did, did she say she heard something in your head? She didn't say anything, but I'm thinking it's raccoons. I think it's about time raccoons got a time. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go ahead and say it's raccoons and call it a day. Even if I'm wrong, she'll she'll be ready for the raccoon menace that'll happen eventually in your household. Boom. Guys, here's the secret to avoiding responsibility. I signed in as another employee. I'm using somebody else's card. So if I get it wrong, it's not on my permanent records on somebody else's. We had, a, we had a little bet back then, back at the company when I got this job. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, hey, Fred. Hey, I'm calling about a noise I've been hearing in my house lately. Sounds what like is it? scratching or something. It's real quiet. So definitely some kind of pest in my walls. It's a bat. I all kinds of traps, but uh, I thought one worked for a while, but then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or droppings or whatever. Oh, no droppings? Please hold it. Mm. Something that sounds like scratching. Is it a fracture hob? Which one of those is scratching? Which one of these hobs does shit? Cellular growth. Um. He said he found no droppings, which a bat would drop. And sightings. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna get this so good. It can't be termites. Ticks? No, no, no. It can't be ticks. Pipe hob? It's a pipe hob. Hmm. They in process. They're not a direct danger to humans, but they're. Hmm. It's a mole. <laughs> Shit, I don't know. <laughs> I'm doing a poor job at this. Common hot cellular growth. Does cellular growth do any scratching? It does dripping and strange glows. Best cob. Just checking. I'm gonna have to guess. This one's kind of a rough one. What about bees? What about fucking bed bugs? All right, listen to me. It's about time we start reporting bed bugs, okay? But they don't do any scratches, which makes me makes me mad. They can't report them just yet. Fuck them. Bees. Definitely not that. I feel like going for bats. I feel like it's time for bats to happen. Uh, well, well, okay, he set out a trap. I thought it was like a cheese trap, which probably might not be the case. Fuck. Fuck, I don't know. I'm going with bats. Boom. Who cares if I lose my job? At least I'm confident my never second guess yourself. Always go with the first answer. Boom. Bats. He's dead now. Do you guys have Dan. Security? I need home security installed. Okay. This is not the police. All right, I think it's, uh, please, uh hold. please hold. I think what you're dealing with is a desk cop, pal. You don't want to make him mad. You see, if you make him mad, he'll start metamorphosizing, which pisses him off. And I don't know what that does. But that's fine. Yeah, they will frequently sort and order materials in the desk they're liking. Yeah, you're dealing with, uh, uh, hold on. Let me listen to this guy again. Yeah, that's the sound of a menace. All right, you're gonna have to kill the desk cop, actually. We're not gonna tell him. We're, not, we're gonna tell him it's a desk cop and tell him it's okay to kill him so, <laughs> so he gets haunted. It's a desk cop, pal. Damn, I'm good at my job. As in, I'm able to answer quickly. Nice, my shift is ended. 60%. Oh, yikes. 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 That's, that's, e that's a D. That's a D. We'll, we'll take those. We'll take those. D's get degrees, guys. D's get degrees. The only undersold, huh? Broadcast. Okay, so we got some. I'm gonna check my mail first. I'm curious to see what we got. It's it, what? Uh, 
He's like, hey, if you have access to more info, didn't they? I warned you. If you end up like me joining this hole, they haven't found me yet. It's safe here. Are you? Mike, are you like a mouse? <laughs> Mike? Mike 3? All right, all right. Attention team. Our network team is migrating our backend services over to a new hosting provider this week. Netflix. So you may experience some occasional network errors over the next few days. Please be sure you are studying your information entries carefully while you still have access in case the network goes down while you're on the phone with a client. You will still be expected to provide accurate answers to our clients' callers regardless of the network statuses. All right. So we're going to have to be, we're going to have to remember what these things do and answer correctly. Listen to the next video we got on here. The real estate update. Oh, I have to check my stocks. Oh, thanks for reminding me, game. 84,000. Yo, that's actually pretty cheap. <laughs> Wait a minute. 1,000. One bed to. Yo, this is like a dream home in nowadays. Oh, wait. Can I call that? What happens if I call that number? 1,000. Wow, two bed. Oh, just for 20,000 more? Yo, I'm so excited. And also, a stock update. I've lost. 1% of my current income. Oops, there it goes. Anyway, 120,000 for this four bed, five bathroom apartment or house. 2,120 square feet. Nice. Mini alert. A civil authority has issued a missing persons alert for the following counties. Bush County, Maple County, Parkway County, Berry County. Just a bunch of them. Just a whole lot of them. Charlie Brown? You got it. Hold on. Let me call 911 now. <laughs> let me go ahead and just tell him that uh, Robbie, whatever his face is missing. Oh, wait. <clears throat> Wait a minute, was that one 12, that hold on, hold on, wait a second, $12,000, five, 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 seven, 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 six, seven, seven. Oh, damn it, if only my phone was charged, fuck. All right, let's get into the, let's, let's get into wait, day three, Wednesday, the worst day of the week, in my opinion. I fucking hate Wednesdays, they suck, because then you remind yourself you're only halfway through it. <laughs> And nothing's changed. You're still doing the same thing. Let's clock in. So we have to really read up on these goons that we got here. All right. All right. I need to. I need to know more about the ticks. I haven't read about the ticks. Uh, hosts will often report symptoms of illness such as fevers, headaches, and chills. Hold on, I got to sneeze. Ticks are incredibly dangerous to humans thanks to their ability to directly spread various diseases to their hosts, such as Lyme disease, and their potential to provoke other more dangerous house pests. Pisses off the hobs. Hello. Hello. Carol here again. We've updated your permissions. You should now have access to more extensive information to work with for your future calls. Please be sure to read these new entries carefully so you can continue providing our clients with accurate diagnoses. You got it. Please remember that this and not to be shared with anyone unless pertinent to a caller's needs. Uh-oh. Thank you. I don't have any friends. It's okay. Permissions have been updated. New entries now available. All right, let's take a look at the toilet. Wood secretions, huh? Wood secretions are pink viscous liquid substances that can sometimes form from wood that has been mistreated. It is known to drip from wood materials such as furniture, walls, causing a sticky pooling buildup. Okay, no problem. I do my best. All right, so these wood secretions can be deadly to humans, causing a rapid transplant. Okay, what, what, what do you want? What do you want? There's something in the basement. I've seen it. It's huge, almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is. 
says it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. You might be dealing with the, the slug. I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. Steps? No, I hear the steps creaking. It's... I think it's a slug. Let's take a look at these other things. We got a wine sprite. It's definitely not bad. <laughs> Whistling fungi. Yeah, that's cool. You got your own area. You got your own Dark Souls area music when you enter your home. That's actually pretty sick. Unicorn Fungi. Okay, that's just like the... That's just the last of a situation happening. All right, toilet. Oh, I see him in there, the little shitter. <laughs> tea Sprite. Hmm, sure enough, it's just the thing that's in the tea. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to, trying to pick those things that would probably make sense to pick on more. Mirror Nymph. What the? What? Hold on, I gotta read this one. This one's interesting. Mirror Nymphs are a subspecies of nymph that are known for stealing the likeness of homeowners and passerby. They are generally small, faceless, and voiceless humanoids, carrying a large mirror that they beckon others to look into. Homeowners afflicted by mirror nymphs completely report not being able to recognize their own face. Mirror nymphs, although a nuisance, are not a direct danger to humans. Mirror nymphs will wander to different locations, providing nobody looks into their mirror. The fact that homeowners can restore their likeness by catching the mirror nymph and breaking its mirror with an iron implement. That sounds like a... <laughs> that sounds like a... Um, which, what am I looking for? That sounds like a indie game idea. <laughs> I'm here to hunt a mirror nymph. Memory Wisp. Nope. Due to clerical error, the audio sample provided above is incorrect. This issue will be in will be corrected by the end of the month. Let's hear it. It sounds like somebody's hitting their hitting their piano back and forth. I do that when I walk by a piano. I just start mashing it because it's a uh, I don't know. It's instinct, I guess. It's instinct. Memory wisps are invisible and odorless household wisps that are known for removing memories from the home and it's what? And it's homeowners. Homeowners infested with memory wisps will often report missing pictures, photo albums, and the inability to remember the faces of loved ones. Uh, I might have that. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what my mom looks like. It's been a while. I haven't, I, I don't have her picture on my phone when I call her. I, all, every single contact I have is just the letter, <laughs> just the defaulted letter image. I don't have... <laughs> I don't take photos. Oops, maybe maybe I should. Maybe I should. I might be affected by mirror wisp and I don't even know it. Mirror wisp are not a danger to the physical health of humans. However, their ability to affect human memory can sometimes lead to household accidents or reckless activity. Memory wisps will move out of the house on their own once they have stolen away the inhabitants' memories. There's no need for further action. Alright, I guess you're fucked. <laughs> I guess it's done. Lamp Sprite. It's just the same guy in different places. Hold on. False Rose Bush. Oh. Wait a minute. I, I, do, I could have sworn I heard a news article about some kind of bush guy. Could this... Did, did this bush did it in? That child? Let's listen to it. Are those his footsteps where, where like he starts walking he's like <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh I got like a weird sneeze in the middle of there what the hell was that false rose bushes are large plant like creatures that most commonly take on the appearance of a red rose bush in place of roots these creatures have two little small feet size sevens it looks like and they choose to chase down prey owners with false rose bushes sometimes report missing pets or children False rose bushes pose incredible danger to homeowners with children or pets, as their diet commits consist of small mammals, and they are known to be fast and efficient hunters. Homeowners without children or pets have a reduced risk, as they cannot swallow whole anything larger than themselves. Be the chunkiest guy, and you can't be killed. To remove a false rose bush from a garden they have inhabited, it is advised to keep children or pets from venturing outside within its hunting range for an extended period. If a false rose bush goes more than one month without eating, it will move on to a new territory of its own. That's not really a solution. Where's the where's the Second Amendment in that? Hmm? Where's the take out the flamethrower and murder the bush? There's a guy going, oh, <laughs> in the fucking TV screen. 
False artifacts are seemingly human designed objects that can manifest suddenly inside a home. They're known for making gentle buzzing noise that can usually be heard by very young human children or small animals. So it's like frequency based, I guess. Homeowners with false artifacts often report out of place objects or missing children or pets. Mmm. False artifacts, while not a direct threat to adult humans, can pose a significant risk to small human children and animals. Should a child or pet be left alone with a false artifact, they're at risk of being encased within. What the? What? What? Did they just get stuck in there? <laughs> did they get like squished or do they fall into like the pocket dimension within the TV? Once in case, no noise made by the prey can be heard. While digesting can take upwards of several years to complete, starvation can be a more pressing concern. Once a false artifact has been identified, removal is as simple as physically moving the object out of one's home. <laughs> to fucking break that TV, kick that shit in. Uh, the HSH pest removal services should be called to come in and remove the object. Should a pet or loved one already be encased within, one can utilize a memory wisp to speed up the grieving process. <laughs> Wait, can we just whip those out? <laughs> uh, are they working for us? Sorry, your kid's gone. Here, have some delicious memory wipe. Bogarts. He's opening a fucking door. All right, whoever got that audio is dead, I imagine. Bogarts is the general term for metamorphized hob. Oh, all right, so these guys are the hobs. Don't fuck with them. They're large, human, human, they're large hairy humanoids between six to seven feet tall and bear fairly convincing false faces. They're known for causing household accidents such as flooding, fires, or electrical outages. They also frequently observe their targets while they sleep. Bogarts are extremely dangerous to humans and pets due to their malicious nightly household activities, which can often cause injury or death. They're also, they also react very violently when seen by humans, but thankfully these incidents are rare as they excel at staying hidden. Do not under any circumstances refer to an active Bogart by any name. Once you become aware of its presence, simply leave. Provided you do not speak of the Bogart at any time in any fashion or remain in its original location. Okay, so if you just don't, just guys, just if you see the, if you see that guy by like your staircase, just look away. Just pretend you didn't see it. It's all right. Okay, don't worry. It, it'll go. It, it won't go away, but it'll feel. You'll feel better. You'll feel better about that. So anyway, it's most definitely. It's definitely a stair slug. Come on. I thought the Bogart would have been it, but it has to be as big as her dog, apparently. So it's got to be the stair slug. And they're huge. Have you seen a stair slug? They're huge. Boom. It's a stair slug. Kill them with salt. Look at them. Yeah. See, they're dog sized slugs. See? I'm good. I'm good at my job. Now we can read about termites. Okay, so termites eat plant material, particularly wood. Homeowners with a termite infestation often report peeling paint, small holes in the drywall, or squeaky floorboards. Uh. Oh. Got a phone call. You're up, caller. It's still crawling in the walls! Those instructions you sent didn't work at all! I'm going stir crazy here! I still haven't been able to sleep! I hope you all rot! You know, every single one, not everybody's a happy customer, you know? I try my best, but sometimes it's not good enough. I can't please them all. You know, let's move away from termites. I think we get what termites are. I'm more curious. I didn't get finished reading about wood secretions. Wood secretions can be deadly to humans, causing a rapid translation of flesh if ingested. <laughs> what? Keep animals and humans, ch uh, children away from secretions at all costs, as its foul odor will be interpreted as a sweet candy-like smell to them. Fucking hell. Hey. What's up, uh, Peter? I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. I'm not sure what it could mean. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it, along with this, uh, nasty smell. Ah? Huh? Is your, is your bathroom faucet, first of all, Please wood? Gotta ask, because, uh, 
So it smells nasty. And it... It makes nasty sounds and nasty smells. Who could that be? Well, anyway, I'm still reading about wood secretions. So that guy can fuck off for a few minutes. It's alright. He'll he'll end up dying anyway. <laughs> as his foul odor will be interpreted as a sweet, candy-like smell to them, making them particularly susceptible to accidental ingestion. Uh, once started, wood secretions will continue indefinitely. To remove the hazard from a home, the offending wood should be replaced entirely. Uh, to prevent wood from entering the secretion stage, ensure good care is taken towards wood in the home. Refrain from scratching, knocking, or banging on wooden surfaces. Do not ever insult or shout out the wood. I've got a wooden desk, guys. If it slimes all over my PC, it's over. I'm giving it a pat. I'm making sure there's no wood secretion in my own home. You did a good job holding all the garbage I have on you right now on wooden desk. You're doing, you're doing your best. I, I, I truly believe in you. And I will never, if I ever do insult you, know that it is just sarcasm. It is, it is not, it is never toxic. Do not secrete slime. You, you're better than that. Alright, I think that's enough. That's enough of this stupid fucking desk. Alright, so let's move on. We got ourselves a, uh, got ourselves a stinky, a stinky faucet, okay? As I'm playing Terraria, I'm trying to find out how, what the hell this thing could be. It's not frozen pipes. Hmm. <laughs> it's moles again. <laughs> I knew it. It's moles all along. Could it be a pipe hop? They don't make any smells. The most part, they actually clean things, so I doubt it's them. Pipe growth. Maybe it's pipe growth. Let's listen, let's listen to this thing again. Oh, it's, yeah, it's probably pipe growth. Pipe growths are a type of fungus that are known for making homes inside damp, tube-like structures such as pipes. Pipe growths often sl grow slightly larger than the pipes they inhabit, and will therefore clop the pipe indefinitely until their removal. Pipe growths are known to make loud, bubbling, digestive noises after they eat a full meal. Pipe growths are known to attempt to eat anything that comes into its side, its side its domain. Most, commonly, most common accidents occur when a human child attempts to reach their hide inside their home. Do not attempt to reach your hand inside an active pipe growth home. They're otherwise harmless to humans. To remove a pipe growth, you just take it off. You just you just take the hacksaw and go... And just, it's gone. Once you garnish the inside of that replacement home with an assortment of meat, juices, and insects, place a replacement home near one of the pipe's openings and leave it overnight. The following day, the pipe growth should be moved into its new home where it can be safely relocated away from the household. Alright, got it. I don't think it's that. A sprite? Could it be a toilet hob? I didn't get to read up on the toilet hobs. Maybe these guys suck. Alright. There are subspecies of hobs that are known for homing inside toilets. Cool. And have two separate clumps of wispy hair on each side of their heads. Like most hobs, they tend to clean their homes when they are active at night, keeping the toilets they inhabit ne nearly spotless. Man, I wish I had a couple hobs in my household. I mean, sure, they're dangerous if you don't take care of them, right? But like, it'd, it'd be a clean home. It'd be a clean home to have, like, an R&B. <laughs> oh, that'd be such a good Airbnb, my bad. An Airbnb hob home? Mmm. Can I tell them one of the major house rules is that you have to leave out your clump of hair, cheese, uh, milk, <laughs> if you not want to metamorphize the house, which will definitely be on their, on their fault, since they read the contract, when they, when they decide to uh, live there for a day or two. Toilet harps are not dangerous on their own, but their physical presence within the toilet they inhabit may result in plumbing problems over time, such as leaks or clops. Like any other hob, they're also capable of metamorphosizing. Okay. Leave an egg near the toilet each night? <laughs> what the fuck? Unicorn fungi. I know it's fungi, but fungi sounds funner. Funner is totally a word. I'm smart. Uh, these fungies are a rare horn-shaped fungus that are known to grow on the heads of furry mammals and household pets. They often affect the animal's disposition, causing them to be drawn to the soil. Owners often report their pets furiously taken around or inside their home. Unicorn fungies are not directly harmful to humans, but they can often lead to other household problems such as broken floorboards, uprooted plants, or waking up other things beneath the soil. Unicorn fungi will go away after a few months on its own without treatment, but can also be treated with cryotherapy or removed surgically if removal needs expediting. To, pre to prevent unicorn fungi from developing, regularly bathe your pet, especially after any outdoor activities. 
Okay, so just just uh just do proper hygiene. You'll be fine. It can't be a whistling fungi, right? It has uh, whistling fungi are small mushroom-like growths with many small holes, and their caps are frequently grow through drywall gaps and cracks. Homeowners infested with whistling fungi often report a dissonant whistling sound coming from their walls. Warning: If you ever hear whistling fungi singing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately. Whistling fungi are rarely dangerous to humans, but their growth can cause foundational problems. If whistling fungi ever sing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately and do not return for any reason. Otherwise, whistling fungi can be removed with common weed killers or by utilizing our own fungal removal services. To prevent a whistling fungi infestation, ensure there are no open cracks in your home. Okay. Could it be wood secretions? Like, it's not... We had noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. Did they make noises? Uh... Known to drip from wooden materials such as furniture or walls, causing a sticky pooling buildup. I doubt it's wood secretions. Hmm. Alright, tea sprites. I don't think it's a tea sprite. <laughs> it could be raccoons. Look at him, he could have totally he could have totally done it. Pipe hobs? Uh you know it could be a pipe hob. You ever think about that? Because it, it says that if they're provoked, they're capable of com doing some shit and metamorphosis. So it could be that these guys are metamorphosizing right now. <laughs> this guy is owned. It's the only thing I can think of is that's like he's in a bathroom faucet. They live in faucets. At least in this picture, they do. I'm going to say it is a where, 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 where is it? Hi, Pop. Submit my answer. And if it's wood secretions, he'll be dead for me, for him to complain back to me. That's all I'm saying. All right, he'll be dead before he gets a chance to call back. <laughs> His skin will be coming off. Quiet. I can't. Her face. It's gone. It's gone. My wife. I can't see her face. What? I can't see her face. She did it. I can't see her face. They're all gone. It's all gone. All right, well, Please putting you on hold. It well, looks like, sir, you're going to need a memory wisp. <laughs> May I remind you that you might need... Uh, where is it? There it is. Man, I, I couldn't find it. You're going to need a memory wisp, pal. Uh, they're going to help you out, okay? I'm sending one after you. <laughs> You'll forget about your wife soon enough. You'll be happy again. Trust me. It was either that or the mirror. The mirror nymph, but I doubt it's a mirror nymph because I don't think they kill people. I think he's speaking relatively that his wife was already dead. That's what I think. I'm a professional after all. Hey, Peter. Uh, I don't know what this weird info you sent me means, but I tried it and uh, it didn't fix the faucet. I'm calling a plumber. Thanks a lot for wasting my time. No problem, man. Thanks for your, thanks for your call back. What could have it been, though? I'm terrible at this job, I think. Why did Why did he keep me here? <laughs> because I guess I'm just a I'm just a guy that does work. It could have been a bogart. What could have it been? It could have really have been a pipe growth. It might have been a pipe growth. Forbidden action, insufficient hey, privileges. Yeah, hey. Fuck you. coming out of my drawers here. I had to grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. Now, Sorry, I can't do? understand your garbled speak. What are you gonna do to make this right? <laughs> I 
Uh, nothing. As a matter of fact, I'm hanging up on you. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm really screwing this up, I think. I think I'm really getting the bad ending if there are good or bad ones. Fuck. Ah. Uh, hi? Hey, Harvey. I, uh, have no idea what's happening. My sheets are growing nasty. He's got bad teeth. Them, and my legs itch like it's crazy. bad teeth. Do I need to be showering more often or something? I usually shower like once a week for my skin health, so maybe that's it. All right, maybe you should definitely first of all fix it, fix your hygiene Please situation. Hold. That's definitely not. It's, it's definitely maybe that is part of the thing, but you might be dealing with bed teeth, and or maybe bed bugs. You might want to get that checked out. Oh yeah, hell yeah! Uh, I have to read up on wine sprites. They are known for consuming wine. They are small, large-eyed uh, winged creatures with translucent skin. Fuck! Fuck! I'm reading. You look like a fake person. Call this number to ask about my problem. All right. The wall in my bedroom doesn't look great near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some cracks or maybe it's peeling. It's I'm a fracture hob. Sure. I have a cat named Whiskers and sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch, but he would never do that to the wall. He knows just how naughty that would be. How naughty that would be. Please anyway. Hold. Get on hold. I know what it is, but I want to read some stuff about wine sprites and all that shite. All right. Give me a second. Give me a minute, lady. Come on. Okay. There are small, large eyed winged creatures with translucent skin that often appears red while they are feeding. They have a long proboscis that they use to drink. Someone is infested with the wine spirits come to report broken glasses. Their wine having a rotten taste and smell. Wine spirits are not directly dangerous to humans, but they are known to spread various deadly diseases, such as the fatal Fay flu. What? Is that, is that a thing? I was unaware of that one. It should be removed as soon as possible. One can be removed with various household common pesticides and traps. Provided they are bathed with wine. Of course, yes. To avoid future infestations, be sure to always clean wine glasses and containers immediately. Okay, so here's the thing though. So this wine sprite's got me thinking that I probably have a coffee sprite. Like I have like 17 coffee sprites in my old coffee mugs. I think I might die <laughs> soon, guys. It's uh, it's gonna be, it's, it's so over for me. So we got tea sprites. So they just, they like tea. They report leaf-like droppings and sounds of fluttering near the kitchens. Uh, they can spread the fey flu. Cool. Can be, can be you, can be get rid of by baiting with tea leaves, of course. The white future infestations, please be sure to keep. Damn, I definitely have like 16 different scary things in my house then, don't I? Lamp sprite. What could possibly be in the lamp sprite? You can't just tell me that you need to clean your lamp. Fuck that. All right. They make their hand. They, they make their homes inside lamp fixtures. They are known for causing the lamp they inhabit to flicker or burn hotter. Sometimes causing a burning smell in the home. You know, I had all those three things. Guys, I have a lamp right next to my desk. All those three things keep happening to this lamp. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, 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 no. It's fine, it's fine. But let me just read about the solution here. Uh, lamp sprites are not dangerous. The humans are less provoked. Do not under any circumstances turn off lamp. Or attempt to reach your hand inside the lamp when actively inhabited. Lamp sprites will leave on their own once their lamp of choice goes out on its own. At this point, they will attempt to seek out a new lamp. Prevent a lamp sprite from rehoming itself. Ensure all household lamps are turned off until the expiration period. When the lamp sprite fa fails to find an active night lamp, it will leave the home on its own. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So so anyway, lady, you got uh, you got you got you got these things called fracture hobs. It's just like breaking your shit. So I hope you like having to offer them cheese every day. <laughs> Goodbye. Have I read up on everything? I haven't read up on frozen pipes. Oh, that oh. You know, it might have been just the frozen pipes. After all. <laughs> Damn. The simplest solution. Hey, Gary.
And the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? What yeah. kind of joke is that? It's been a week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. Your employee uh -oh. stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair costs. So talk to your manager and tell them they owe me big time. You figure out what's going on in my house, and you figure it out now! Al, I don't think you let out the guy. Dude, my, my man. I don't think you gave him enough cream. <laughs> Your solution, man, is not that we didn't give you bad info. It's that you just didn't do... It's like whenever you show up to a doctor's office and they ask you, Hey, have you been taking your medication as we asked? And you're like, no. I've been kind of getting lazy, so I kind of just only take it once per week. And the doctor's just having... Just doing its best and not just... Free, just fucking freak out because you have like high blood pressure or something like that. <laughs> They're holding, they're, they're holding themselves from just slap, grabbing your shoulders and slapping you and trying to yell at you saying like, why don't you understand? <laughs> I can feel it. Of course, I haven't done it. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a good patient, guys. I've been to hospitals a lot. I'm a good patient. It's the only way I can live. So let me first read up on Frozen Pipe since Gary's being so angry. Maybe I'll give him a chance to calm down if I put him on hold for a few hours. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I, I think everybody understands this thing. That's why we put people on hold. All right. Frozen pipes are a common household hazard during cold seasons, characterized by the water inside pipes freezing and expanding, causing stoppages, cracks, and leaks. Homeowners with frozen pipes may report strange faucet smells, banging and whistling sounds coming from pipes or leakage. Frozen pipes can lead to bursting and water damage, which can be both costly and dangerous to a home. Homeowners suspect of having frozen pipes should utilize the plumbing services. Prevention is key when the cold season arrives. Homeowners are advised to ensure their home is sufficiently protected against the cold by checking seagulls, keeping the home above 55 degrees Fahrenheit, and running cold, running hot water through the pipes on a daily basis. Sounds good. Let me let me read up on house fires. You know, I'm starting to think that maybe I might have missed something, and maybe house fires may have been one of the ones that I've talked about. House fires are a rapid combination or combustion reaction that occur inside a home. They're often caused by accident when cooking or on purpose by some more malicious house pests. Homeowners affected by house fires commonly report the smell of burning. Yeah, <laughs> you don't say. Guys, my house, my house smells kind of funny. I don't know why. It smells like it's burning or some shit. It's also kind of, it's kind of getting bright. There's a bunch, there's a bunch of like smoke in my room now. What's going on? <laughs> Please be on hold. House fires can cause severe damage to human skin, such as burns, and can even result in death. It can also produce carbon monoxide, which is deadly to humans. As such, its removal from a home should be made in immediate <laughs> priority. To remove the house fire from a home, one can utilize specialty equipment such as fire extinguishers to snuff out the flames. Well, it's large enough quantities of water. Untrue. Do not, and I mean do not, just assume you could put out fires with just water. It might be an electrical fire, which means it doesn't matter how much water you put in there. It's not going away. <laughs> it's going to keep burning. Uh, We get the house fly. Housewives, what did you do? Ah, uh, thoughts of decay. Yeah, housewives are just housewives. House spirits, house spiders, house spiders. Like humans when threatened, their venom is not strong enough to harm a human. They will often keep to themselves, left to their own devices. Their tendency to eat flies, bees, and other pests make them an excellent pest deterrent, and their presence keeps some larger pests from moving in. It is not advised to remove house spiders unless strictly necessary. Fair enough. Kind of leave the spiders alone. They're chilling. Anyway, what's your problem again? Oh yeah, you 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 did you did the stupid thing. You got Bogarts now. Don't don't acknowledge that they exist though. Me telling you this will probably get you killed. You're kind of you're probably gonna read it out loud. Bogar, <laughs> Gary Bogar, <laughs> and them just dead. Oh sick. Oh nice. I love this number. It's a funny one. Like, not as funny as the funny number, but still pretty good. 66.6666666%. News update. I finished the Red Bull. I feel like I've taken off three years of my life trying to consume this thing. My God. I got new mail. Oh, okay. Hello, Hope Safety Hotline family. We're excited to introduce you all to our new brand office pet. Brand new office pet, Whiskers. Whiskers is loyal, friendly, and as serious about pest control as we are. Please give Whiskers a warm welcome as you see him wander by your desk. 
Please refrain from picking up or feeding Whiskers, as he's still getting to know everyone in the office and has scheduled feeding times. Sincerely, HSH Corporate. Sick. I love cats. Freaking go. I love cats. Now it's time to watch the funny video. Play. Astronomy. Science Mysteries with Bill Nye. I would love to see Bill Nye voice one of these analog cord things. The Mystery of Mice. Mice. One of humanity's oldest friends and oldest enemies. From the Black Plague to the shelves of our pet stores, mice have lived alongside humans for centuries. Oh, And just yeah. like humans, mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. Wait, what? Huh? This is a mus musculus. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise known as the common house mouse. And this is mus musculus. I don't see the fucking difference. Otherwise known as the smart mouse. A newly <laughs> discovered species known for its uniquely colored iris. And more importantly, its increased intelligence. So mice, mice are getting smarter. Smaller than peanuts. And yet, modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently. And in the case of the smart mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. Oh. With the help of modern computer technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. All right, open up your ears. I feel like somebody added that one. No, hold up. <laughs> no, 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 I gotta, I gotta go back. Hold up, wait a minute. That seems like a scam. <laughs> that, that was clearly not even a voice. Uh, th th no fucking way this guy s actually said help me like that. Ain't no way that he has proper enunciation. Bullshit. This is fake. Fake news. What do you think? Is this a wonder of evolution? No! Or are you just hearing things that aren't there? <laughs> do mice and men have more in common than previously thought? Well, I suppose that's what makes this a science mystery. Andy from Pest Removal just added his goddamn voice in there. He's like, help me. And just earned like 50 bucks on the side. This is bullshit. This is dumb. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and clock it. <laughs> I was so entranced about how smart mice were getting. And then they were like, help me. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you should have told them. Maybe you should have asked them their name. First of all, instead of torturing them. Ever thought of that? Let's clock in. Help me. Help me. All right. Let's see how much we get unlocked today. I love my job. I love it. I love putting people on hold and being incorrect. Because guess what? It's not me who gets punished. Hello. Supervisor Carol here again. Yeah. I've been watching the closely employee. I'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy. Fuck. Let's go. I have once again updated your permission so you should have access to more extensive household 66%. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest upon me. Oh, uh, what? But whatever. I got new permissions. We get to look at people. I'm um, rather, we get to look at people's problems more. We got the attic gnomes. Look at them. I did... Ah, that disturbed me. Who's calling? I hey, Ash. Wrong with her Recently, I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug, just aches and pains constantly. But after a month, still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water, because we only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't ever And he ate a false beat. Until now. I keep hearing things about rustic pipes and water poisoning. 
Send someone out to get this fixed for us. Please hold. You got you got yourself a uh I, I hate to tell you this, but I think you what you have is the false beat. Uh you you ate a false beat and now your life is over. It's done. <laughs> you <laughs> you fucked up. It was just one tiny little bite and it was it was over. Miss Frizzle can't save you now. It's over for you, man. I'm not even gonna look at these because I doubt it's anything else. It's a false beat, and that's it. That's all it'll ever be. See ya. Goodbye, loser. Have fun with the rest of your life being decrepit and sad. All right, so let's look at uh, let's look at the attic gnomes again, okay? Attic gnomes are a subspecies of gnome known to nest in attics and ceilings. I wonder if some festival with attic gnomes will often afford a knocking or rapping. Set. What? Okay. I <laughs> I, I thought that meant like they were actually spitting bars in the ceiling. <laughs> the Attic Gnomes. My next DC, my my album's coming in. Oh, hello? It's Wanda. Hello? I followed every instruction your people sent me, but I'm still getting cracks on my wall. Uh, my daughter is called Pest Control. And she told me not to call you anymore for help. I'm sorry. Bye. You're not sorry. Shut the hell up. You're not sorry. First of all, I could be 100% wrong. Second of all, how dare you call me back and telling me sorry? I fucking hate that. You should have just been angry. Damn it. All right. So they also, uh, or a subplus of dust cutting out, coming out of their ventilation systems. Attic gnomes' feeding habits can be, often be a boon to homeowners as they consume dust, cobwebs, and household pests, such as spiders, in large quantities. However, when frightened, they will violently expel their meals, which, which can send large quantities of dust particles in the air, causing air quality issues in the household. So they shit themselves. And uh, it, it, the shit is so loud that it causes people to uh, take some air quality. The problem. police told me to call this number, so I uh, hope You're I got fake. the right number. No, this anyway, is pizza. Uh, I think I think somebody is stalking me. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the house. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there, breathing. I've been sleeping on the couch every night this past week, just so he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything, so please, send what? somebody or do something about this. Ah, I well, hardly sleep anymore. Well, lady, I hate to tell you this. I have a 66% chance of being correct. And if I was so correct about the last one, then uh, you're out of luck, lady. I hate to tell you this. I only have like a 50-50. <laughs> I'm thinking... What I'm thinking is it's a Bogart again. It's a Bogart. They like watching people sleep. Uh... Yeah, they also frequently observe their targets while they sleep. Uh, but I don't know if they would go outside, you know? They also react very violently when seen by humans, but thankfully these instances are rare as they excel at staying hidden. So wait, yeah, these guys would have killed her. They can't be a Bogart. They, they would have killed her. Let's see, what about a travel node? I'm thinking it might be a travel node. Nope, hold on. The travel node is just inside a suitcase. All right, well, that didn't really give me much. Double gnomes are a highly invasive subspecies of gnomes that are known to stone away inside the luggage of unsuspecting travelers to introduce themselves into new households. They are found most commonly in high forested areas of the globe. Travel gnomes can affect the household in various ways. They'll often create expansive gardens inside their new homes, leaving soil, plants, and common outdoor pests in their wake. These gardens, in addition to introducing a variety of dangerous pests, can also create foundational problems in the home if they continue to grow unabated. Hmm. What the? A portal? It's a portal. So we got a straight up isekai portal, okay? So that goes into a new world where you have to kill God or something. Don't go in there. Portals are door-shaped openings to an outdoor location other than homeowners. Discovered most commonly in basements or underground cellars. Owners with portals frequently report cold drafts, strange dreams, and a strong desire to enter. Portals can include a wide variety of dangerous elements to a home and should be dealt with as soon as they are discovered. They can additionally cause drafts and introduce heating problems to a home. Yeah, the minor things, such as uh, heating problems. 
Portal should be shut tight with wooden planks, bricks, or any other common building materials. The seal should be airtight as to not allow for anything to come inside the home. It's advised to utilize this, uh, yeah, 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 we gotta, we gotta be careful with that. Sea length. Never remove a reed from a seedling infested garden. These guys are tiny creatures. They're the size of an aphid. I don't know what an aphid is, but just remind, just pretend it's like a penny. Just pretend they're like a penny sized, okay? They're known for burying in outdoor planters or gardens, feeding off the roots of nearby weeds. Hmm. That the weed killing lifestyles can make them useful for gardeners. Seedlings are very pissed off if you dare enter their food source chain. Okay, I see. They're known to compel they are known to compel competitors to commit violent acts on themselves or others. What? To remove seedlings from a garden, one should not go near their established feeding gardens. Instead, one should use a hose, sprinkler, or similar range devices to overwater and drown out the seedlings from afar. Yeah, that's pretty that's pretty normal. That's pretty normal. Let me let me scroll to the horde. <laughs> the horde. It's an invisible, odorless collective consciousness that is known to collect and store quantities of common household refuse. So, if you... Okay, so we're talking like Depression Arc. We're talking about Depression Arc Apartment. That's what we're talking about. If you've got the Depression Arc Apartment, you've got the Horde. Alright? The Horde sends these store vast quantities of trash in the home may make them prone to spreading disease to the home's inhabitants. Rotten food. You syringes and rusty metal are all among among the most common household hazards that can be introduced by the horde's presence. Once introduced to a home, the horde will continue to gather and hoard their treasures indefinitely. It is advised to sell one's home at the first sight of the horde's presence to make the relocation process go over more smoothly. Prevent the horde from gathering in one's home, and it is advised to keep one's home as tidy as possible as to not attract the horde's attention. The introduction of a hob to the household can often assist in this process. But then now you have to deal with the hob. But to deal with the hob, you have to send a slug to kill the hob. <laughs> the chain reaction. There's gotta be like a there's gotta be like a perfect cycle of uh pests in your home just canceling. Yeah, it's most definitely the night gnome. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but if we're just looking for the picture alone, it's definitely the night gnome. Let's listen to him. All right, look, Buster Brown, you've been caught pretty easily. You, you're breathing in this recording. You're staring at some some, some person. I don't know who this might be. I think we can all safely assume it's a Night Gnome. Let's read up on these guys. Night Gnomes are small, hairy creatures with a pointed head. They're known for their tendency to enter the sleeping quarters of humans to watch them while they sleep. Honomes affected by Night Gnomes frequently report sighting them in the middle of the night or report heavy breathing sounds during late hours. Yes, it's so easy. This one's so easy. Night gnomes are not known to be deadly to humans, but those who suffer from heart conditions should consider wearing sleep masks to prevent being startled by their presence. True! I always do. Night gnomes will move on to other homes if they become bored or restless by your inhabitants' sleeping activities. There is no guarantee, however, that they will become bored by you if they find your sleep sufficiently entertaining. What, what could they find? Because I sleep like I'm in a coffin, guy. I don't move. I don't twitch. I don't snore. I, I act like I'm dead. But anyway, it's a night, a night goblin. Uh, yep. Night Gnome. Submit. Easy. Accuracy 100. So far. There's no way I got this wrong. So I'm gonna start reading up on Night Wisp now. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna get a phone call. Hello? Caller! Hello, yes. I Belinda. believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation uh-huh lately we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced my daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing please hold i'm pretty sure what you're dealing with is an attic gnome man there's a lot of gnomes out today uh i've already read up on the attic gnome i know exactly what it is but you're, you're gonna have to wait i want to read the rest of these garbage entries so i know exactly what to uh, how to respond to people uh, where was I at? I don't think I read up on the Cellar Grotto. What the fuck? <laughs> cellar Grottos are large cave-like networks. None of sometimes appear in spontaneous... Spontaneously in cellars and basements. Homeowners with cellular grottos will often report a bad smell coming from the basement. 
higher humidity in the home, and a notable increase in large beetles, frogs, and related pests. Alright. Cellar grottoes can introduce a number of dangerous pests into the home, and the height heightened humidity they introduce can cause warped floorboards, weaken foundation, and other hazards. So what do you do with a grotto? Begin spelunking and s All right, that's cool. All right, let's move it on. Uh, the Fey Feast. That looks like a pile of cocaine. Or sugar. Or possibly even salt. Or flour. You know what? It might be flour. Oh, well, let's take back the cocaine analysis and let's go with flour. I think that's for the best. Feasts are mid to large sized piles of various edible food substances, frequently including flour, cornmeal, and various species of fungi. They're known to appear near eating areas of the home. Uh, feasts are not dangerous if consumed, but if left untouched, they can provoke more dangerous activity, or else its continued presence can attract other household pests, such as cockroaches or carpenter ants. Oh god. Feasts are a sign of a hospital presence, and as such, should be consumed immediately once cited to prevent provoking or offending the gifter. For maximum assured safety, all members of the home should partake in a feast. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna just start putting like a pile of flour in front of my living room so everybody's like, Oh, we gotta eat this now! <laughs> oh. So this is the Fey Flu, huh? It's a rare and dangerous disease commonly spread by household Fey. Symptoms of Fey Flu include headaches, fever, eye discoloration, uh, seeds taking root in skin pores and blooming. Damn, that's terrifying. Fey flu is rarely fatal, but it can have long-lasting effects on the lifetime health of an affected human. Long-term symptoms commonly include dizziness, fatigue, monocolored vision, deliriousness, and endless dreams. Is that just not death? Is that just not death? There's no cure for Fey flu. However, one can take precautions against it by keeping a clean, Fey-free home. Hmm. Floor roots. Hold on, let's listen to this first. I don't know what this is, just from looking at it. Crispy. Man, what mics did they use? That sounds so crispy. Floor roots are tree-like brown roots that are known to have grown upward from the floor to wrap themselves around various objects or humans in their vicinity. So they're pretty much just like tentacles. Okay, they're, those, they're just tentacles. We're going to move on from that. We have the laundry gnome now. Are they literally guys that put themselves into the washing machine? Oh, guys, don't go in there. You'll die. <laughs> You'll die, you idiots. Children are not supposed to be in there. Do you think you're different? What an idiot. They can fold their... Well, you better believe if I find a gnome in my lawn... In my dryer. In my, in my in my laundry dryer. I'm gonna turn on the dryer. I'm gonna go another cycle. Another 20... Another 70 minutes for this guy. That's too bad. <laughs> you decided to get in there. You'll... That, that, nice resting place, doofus. Homeowners with laundry gnomes are often loud, rattling, or banging someone's coming from their washing machine and missing socks. They fucking take- No wonder my socks are gone! These guys are everywhere in my household! Laundry gnomes pose no direct threats to humans, though their lifespan- Lifestyles often lead to broken washing machine machines or dryers, which can occasionally cause small floods. Water damage can lead to further problems in the home, and as such, laundry gnomes should not be left to their own devices. Laundry gnomes will move on from a home if they are no longer permitted to enter a washing machine. Yeah, I'm going to just start duct taping the water washing machine. Great care should be taken to expect each and every piece of laundry before washing. I just dumped the entire thing in there. Don't know what to say. I think uh, this is it. This is the last thing I have to read. I think we got everything else. I think so, yeah. This is the Night Wisps. So they sound like regular human beings speaking English. That's pretty cool. So they're known to hover outside windows at night while whispering promises of wealth and good fortune. Oh, that's nice. It's kind of like self-affirmation, right? Night whisps are not dangerous to humans unless listened to. Refrain from listening to their bullshit things and following directions. Uh, night whisps will move on to other homes after a week or so if they're ignored consistently. It is advised to drown out their whispers with music or wear sleeping masks to prevent sleep disruption. Oh, huh? I already do that anyway. Also, your thingy is, uh, you got attic gnomes. 
I'm back. It's Attic Gnomes. You, your your Attic Gnome took a shit up there. It took a big ass shit, and now it's uh it's causing everything to go badly for your household. Better kill him. Oh God, bed bugs. God damn these fuckers. I hate these guys. These guys are the true menace. I, who cares about Attic Gnomes? These guys are truly the most powerful guys in this entry list. All right, what's next? Why did we hire the police? Please say you can help. My, my little boy, Jeremy, has gone missing. He's eight years old and such a sweetheart. The last time I saw him was when I was tucking him into bed last night and checking his messy closet for bees to calm him down. For bees? Silly, I know, but my poor Jeremy is always so concerned about bees and, and wasps and stuff. <laughs> Ma'am, calm down. Oh, please, please, please say you can help me find him. He's all that I have. Alright, I'm gonna put you on hold now. Okay, so what could this one be? I was thinking at first it was the false rose bush, right? Right? That's what I thought. But it might be something else. It's the false rose bush took somebody else. I don't think it would be that easy. Could it be a false artifact? A, uh... Oh, wait, he said bees, right? He might have been thinking that it was a buzzing noise from like a bee. Ooh, I think your children's dead. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just just lock it in. You got you your your kid's gone. Get over it. It's false hours effect. Bada bing. I'm fucking great at my job. Ooh, let's go. Your child's gone. See ya. There's a funny looking face on that guy though. I can already see it now. 100% accuracy. Let's go. Let's freaking go. I'm not losing. Hi. I'm concerned somewhat about the stability of my You have wood secretions. <laughs> I recently finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in Fuck. the walls of the basement it's not that were not wood secretions. Disclosed, as well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement floor. Are right, this one's All right, man. I hate to tell you this, but you got owned. It's actually Fracture Hobbs. Look at this fucking guy. Yeah, look at him. He's a goon. They cause cracks, foundational. They can also metamorphize. You better be careful, pal. <laughs> I know you just got this house, but I would recommend just uh, uh, throw it in the trash. Burn it. Burn it if you have to. Commit a false... Commit some delicious house fires. They'll make my job a lot easier. It's a fracture, Rob. You're fucked. I hate to tell you this. Bada bing. Okay. Doing good so far, I think. So then what was that other one? Could it have been like cellar... Cellar growths? It could, it could have been cellar growths. Who knows? Hmm. Strange. Mm. Dog rubber. Orange drink. Yeah. The cheesy greaser? I don't have the pepper squeeze. I hate to tell you this, man. I got no squeeze in me. Not even that of a pepper. And I sure as hell don't have any greasy in me. Don't have any cheesy greaser either. Get the hell out of my phone number. <laughs> Can't believe they're calling me at this time of night. Goddamn cheesy greaser. Think I'm some kind of Pizza Hut worker? Fuck that. I'm getting a cursed phone call. This one's for sure cursed. All right, let's go ahead and get that caller ID. Hey, so my doctor told me I should call this number. I have no idea why. You got AIDS. He said you could help, so here goes something, I guess. Um, so I've recently been having just the worst headaches. 
Uh oh. Barely, I woke up and felt my eyes were starting to look kind of pink. Uh oh. I'm really freaked out right now, and I'm not sure what I have. I can't find anything online. Can you help me? Please hold. Oh man, you got fairy aids. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, we're having the network error, but it's alright. I already knew I already knew what it was beforehand. You got the fairy aids. Don't worry, I remember exactly. You've <laughs> you've got them. I'm so sorry. You've got the way to cure that Adios, pal. I'll be seeing you in like uh, in hell in a few years. Mm, I see how it is. They're turning off my internet. No! How am I supposed to browse the web? How am I supposed to go to Reddit, guys? I can't go to Reddit if there's a network error. Ah. At least the line still works. You gotta tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? Calm I'm down, Kyle. Over here. There's holes all over my freaking house, man. Freaking holes! I'm stepping around big wooden splinters. There's no telling how much damage there is. I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking deep it goes. Uh oh. To top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found. She probably took off after seeing this mess. I need help. Bad. Alright, man. I hate, I hate how you, Please I hate, I hate to inform you, my man. But, uh, you might have bigger problems, my pal. It's a unicorn funky. Your, your dog's gone. <laughs> It's over. Boom. Your dog got infected. Your goblin got goblinized even further with the fungus. And now they're gone. See ya. Ah. And the, 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 the guys beneath the soil probably took your dog. Is most likely what happened. And the moles got involved somehow. I know they were. Alright, who's, who's calling? Jackie. Oh. Wood secretions room. calling it. I'm back from vacation and the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later. And my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a gosh darn nurse. Saved it out. There. What is happening? Is, is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something? Nah, you see, lady? Lady, you don't understand, but here, I'm about to lay down the law for you, okay? Listen up. What you got is a... Where is it? You got yourself a travel gnome. You went to vacation, you probably took back a travel gnome. It's unfortunate, but you're not you're not going to have to live with them. Or you can kill them with a gun. That's up to you. I don't think they metamorphize. So if you murdered them, I'm sure there's no law against that. There's no law against the gnomes. So you go ahead and gun them down. Well, let me read up just to make sure. Yeah, it doesn't say you can't kill him with a gun, so go ahead and try it. You'll be fine. Oh, sick. More fun. Man, I'm getting a lot of calls today. Am I doing right? Is this this is how accessible ship goes? There's something in my basement. I don't know what it is. All I know is when I open my basement door, it smells like a damn sewer, and I can hear it making all kinds of horrible noises. It sounds like there might be a lot of water down there, too. I don't know what it might be doing down there, but I have a feeling it's causing a whole lot of damage. Please, send somebody to help with this. I can't deal with something like this. Please hold it. Well, okay, Larry. Here's the good news. Here, here's the good news, Larry. Your house has turned into a Dark Souls dungeon, okay? We, what you're looking at is a cellar grotto. Okay, cellar grottos... The, all the things you're talking about, common symptoms of cellar grottos. And it, let, let me believe you, it increases it increases the amount of surface area you have in your home. Believe me. And and here's the fun thought. Here's the funny thing, right? You could you could you could you could, you could like hire people to do like some kind of attraction to your house. Where you have like some guys just venturing in your cellar, and you'd get paid for it. Hey, uh, just look on the bright side. You 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 you. you, you you can make money out of this, all right? This is a business proposition. You got this. It's a cellar grotto. Bada bing. You'll be fine, Larry. Buckle up. Get a pickaxe if you care about it that much. Just spelunk. Have at it. Yes! I'm so fucking smart! But also, that one was kind of easy. <laughs> to be honest, that one was kind of easy. 
A hundred percent accuracy. I'm a goddamn accurate. I don't know. I, I I'm I, I I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Mailbox. Okay, so we got Mike coming at me. Uh, there's a hole breach. I feel the hole breach. This is not safe for you. I must find a new spot. In those I am you. The fuck is that? Some kind of like. Oh, it's ah. Uh, I understand now. That's our cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's our cat? Hey, look, it's mittens, guys. Look, we got a picture of mittens. Oh, hey, mittens. That's not even his name. His name is Whiskers. Well, don't I look like a fool? <laughs> Regarding your schedule this week, due to the shortest of available staff, we will need you to come into work this Saturday and Sun. Fuck! Ah, oh, I was about to go to a concert. Thanks for being a team player. Rest assured, your additional overlabors will be recognized. I sure hope so. Congrats! Your high accuracy rate has awarded you today's daily coupon. Daily coupon for tamed river root. Plucked and tamed straight from the waters within the undersoil, this river root is a reliable as they come. Their gentle high frequency cries are guaranteed to keep your garden safe from all manners of pests and predators. Just don't forget to keep them well watered and well monitored. To receive your discount, simply type in the code during your online checkout. Rootin' for you. Keep up the great work, employee. Mmm, that looks tasty. Yummy. Gonna go ahead and open up the next place. Friday, we got three more days of shift, apparently. Home safety hotline. I'm mashing the clocking button. I, I'm so excited to get in there and solve cases, solve crimes. I wonder what I'm going to be able to unlock this time through. My brain is working quite nice today, I swear. It might be the Red Bull. Might be giving me some superpowers here. Not actually. I think I'm dying. I kind of feel worse after drinking that. <laughs> I guess I'll look at some cockroaches. Nice. Oh. Hello. Hi. Supervisor Carol here. Thine accuracy continues to impress those of us above and below the soil. I have updated your permissions once more. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon thee. Okay. Um, Carol. I don't... I don't really need this expedition speak. You could, you could, simple English is fine with me. All right, we got ourselves a closet labyrinth. What's up with the closet labyrinth? Oh, that's a closet. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of a closet labyrinth for sure, for sure. A large twisting networks of tunnels that are known to be occasionally uh, appear inside of closets or wardrobes of wealthy homeowners or left behind in homes. Fuck, hold on. I get this collar on. Patrice. What's wrong with that? So wait, <laughs> wait, I'm, I'm confused. Do you assume your tree is your child? Hold on, l l let me read about closet labyrinths first because I'm interested. Okay, so homeowners with closet labyrinths will often report missing clothes at the sound of distant cries coming from their closet. Yes, yes, that makes sense. Closet labyrinths are incredibly easy to get lost in by design and can prove especially hazardous to homeowners carrying valuable items such as gold, precious silk, or rare spices on their person. As to why they would be carrying that on themselves, I don't, I don't understand why. <laughs> what about my Bitcoin? They're otherwise harmless to those who do not enter their domain. If a closet laughing is discovered, it is advised to lock or blockade the entrance to prevent an accidental entry and diminish the lure of the labyrinth's hidden riches. If it is absolutely vital, a closet labyrinth be removed from a home. It's advised to utilize the labyrinth removal tree. Oh, we have one of those. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Animation? <gasps> oh wait no it's a it's a, it's a doll i thought <laughs> i thought it was a 3d animation clip at first like a like a gif or a gif oh yeah yeah this isn't nearly as scary though animations are any miniature humanoid figures such as dolls puppets or minions that are capable of moving on their own 
Homeowners with animations most commonly report hearing clattering noises at night, missing or stolen household objects. Animations are usually not directly danger dangerous to humans and will ignore them entirely as they go about their business. But the presence in the household may indicate the interest of other potentially dangerous parties. Okay, so that... I don't really care about the solution. Oh, wait, hold on. They, they just leave when they feel like it. If they stick around for more than a few days, then uh, you're kind of screwed. Hmm, what could it be? It can't be a trash gnome. Sprig tree? That seems kind of one to one, right? Sprig trees are rapidly growing tree like organisms take root in the human body. They are known to ca cause structural damage to a home as they continue to grow, generally reaching their full size in a matter of days. They are known to be caused by the touch of a spriggan. Dungeons and Dragons. Uh oh. Spirit trees are incredibly deadly to those infected and will result in death once they have reached a certain size. Anyone near a spirit tree while it is growing in an indoor location is also at risk of injury or death from the structural damage that will occur as it grows. There's no cure, there's no cure to becoming a tree. The infected individual should be quarantined while any others occupying the household should vacate the premises immediately. Do not touch the infected person or the black substance that leaks from them under any circumstances. She might be long gone. And arrange any funeral services as needed for the affected individual. Okay, it's most definitely the sprig trees. Let me check the spring vines. Sprig vines are rapidly growing vines that are known to quickly consume a house and block off exits. They're often a sign that a sprig has been provoked. Sprig vines are not dangerous on their own and can be cut through with common gardening tools. However, their tendency to block exits creates struggles when needing to exit the house in a hurry, such as in the case of flugs, fires, or a spriggan. <laughs> or quite possibly the thing that did that thing. Uh, sprig vines will continue to grow so long as the spriggan that made them desires it. Damn. Imagine being so petty if you just want to just really just destroy a household for fun. It's advised to vacate and rehome as soon as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and just call it with the sprig tree. There's a kobold? Okay, we're going to read about that after we submit this answer. All right, you what you're dealing with, lady? Your son's more than likely dead and turned into a tree. And you probably will follow suit in a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and just tell you that your life is over. And you could have fun realizing that you uh, you were a soldier of God. Anyway, what about kobolds? Is that Scooby-Doo? Hold on. <laughs> I think that's Scooby-Doo, guys. Guys, you heard it, right? <laughs> Kobolds are five feet tall humanoid creatures with dog-like faces that are known to burrow into dark, no, dark, dark, dark rooms or storage closets to make them their home. Homeowners and... Uh, uh, gotta answer this phone call. Hey, hey, Robert. I called last week about some noises in my house, and after following the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. I already told you guys what was happening, but uh, the short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. Uh -huh. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? Please hold. Uh. Huh. Could it be a hob? An animation, maybe? Flattering noises. It might be an animation. Yeah, he hears clattering noises at night and missing or stolen household. But he says missing or stolen household objects. I used to check for any signs of droppings or whatever. The place looks spotless. So actually, he doesn't know. He doesn't know if anything's happening. He's not that observant. This guy, th this guy clearly needs glasses because he's kind of some kind of bozo that doesn't understand that he's missing a few things. But let's take a look at some other things like the trash note just to make sure. Yep, that's a... <laughs> He's definitely in there. Trash gnomes are a subspecies of gnome with thick brownish gray fur, frog-like eyes, and a large gaping mouth. They're known to seek out trash receptacles and burrow inside them for both food and shelter. Homeowners with trash gnomes often report the smell of rotten eggs, finding large clumps of fur throughout their house, tip garbage cans, and large crunching sounds at night. They are highly terrestrial. Ter territorial, I mean. While their bite is not fatal, it can often lead to inconvenient and painful circumstances, such as, uh, yeah, losing a finger or nose. While attempting to discard trash or remove a trash bag from the receptacle. And they also are capable of spreading deadly diseases to humans, such as rabies or tetanus. What? Okay. Well, make sure you get your shots. Prevent the trash gnome from homing inside your 
trash. This recommends to not let trash in the home be idle for more than a day two. I don't move my trash for weeks. And that's not because I'm a stinky fella. That's because my trash can doesn't get full that easily. I don't I don't consume things. Guys, I don't consume. <laughs> I'm not that much of a consumer that I don't fill up my garbage can. So they're, they're I mean, obviously, I take it out to the garbage every week, but... The garbage dump every week, but still, it's not much in it. Yeah, you could go ahead and call the services. Yeah, it's most likely an animation, but I'm gonna keep reading a little bit more about Cobalt first. I think Cobalt might also be a pretender. Okay. Homeowners infested with Cobalt will sometimes report broken floorboards. Cobalts are harmless to humans until they are discovered, at which point they will often lash out violence to protect their home. Okay. Causing injury or even death. If discovered, cobalts will attempt to lure humans into their space by poking their dog-like heads out from behind corners and whimpering. Do not ever enter a cobalt's domain. That's where I take out my gun and just bat bat bat. Done. Done. Dead dog. One should not attempt to remove a cobalt from their home and is strongly advised to hire professionals and utilize the pest removal service. But what if the cobalt's in the way of you calling your phone? What do you do then? Do you just leave out the window? Do they chase you? Hmm. We got a Dreamweaver. Our large spider like man. We're gonna go pass on that one. We're gonna go ahead and tell them that uh, it's an animation. Yep, just gonna go past the Dreamweaver for a bit. Dreamweaver. Go to False Flower instead. I'm just playing prop hunt with these false things. False flowers are long slender creatures that vaguely resemble common household plants. They are known to take root in indoor plot plants, disguise themselves among the flowers. Homeowners often report hearing faint singing. Let's hear it. Oh. Pamela. Uh, All they do is sing at night, but no one in my family feels safe anymore. None of your stupid security alarms uh -oh. even went off. Uh-oh. Please hold. All right, so what we're dealing with is most likely a false flower. Let's see, what else could it be? Maybe a soap sprite? Maybe a spring vine. No, they would be able to tell if it's spring vine. They're not that blind, I don't think. Soap Sprite. These guys look like crabs. <laughs> a seedling? No, no, it has to be singing. They they sing. They sing. We know that they sing. Okay, so I do think it's possibly a false flower. Because they're in the greenhouse. They haven't broken in. There is no breaking in, lady. The thing's already in there. <laughs> it's useless. All right. Uh, false flowers are harmless if left their own devices. However, if homeowners attempt to disrupt or to remove them, they will often lash out by spraying a toxic chemical known to cause blindness or loss of sight. False flowers are not to be disturbed once they have taken root. Water regularly and try not to notice their presence. Ignore their singing. Yeah, it's kind of sounding like you got some, uh, you got, you got some, uh, freaking, uh, got a false flower. Again, good luck with that. Good luck with that. There's no actual solution. Just straight up ignore it. Just ignore it. Move away. Maybe burn down your greenhouse. Maybe that'll work. Who knows? No, don't even do that. Don't, I'm joking. Don't don't do that. You'll die. Man, this this Bogart though. Bogart's honestly kind of cool. I like. Oh. What, what's up? What's up? Flipper. Not the right number, man. Your metamorphs, pal. Juice. Hey, who who are you? How did you get in? Hey, now now easy there. Get away. Get away. Uh oh. Thank you. 
Anyway, so we got other stuff to deal with here. You know, that could have been a carbon monoxide kind of thing, you know? Look, it makes the same noise. Listen. See? Made the same exact noise. I don't know, I don't know what you expect. So now we're moving on to rain nymphs and soap sprites. All right, this one's not creepy at all. All right, so that one's already bad. <laughs> Let's answer this phone call. Hello, Supervisor Carol here. I noticed that you've been experiencing regular disruptive calls from a false caller with ulterior motives. Yes. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee. Uh, all right, thanks. Yeah, man. She... <laughs> Wow, a boss that's capable of doing things. Holy shit. I love that. Remnants are in the subspecies that are most active during rainstorms. They are faint humanoids with a glow in their eyes that often appear near windows and doors, asking them to be let inside. Don't let them inside. The floods the rain nymphs can cause lead to water damage, which can be both costly and dangerous to a home. I thought you fixed this. All right. Uh, they're very preventable in their pleas. The let inside can be ignored. What? I saw this big, nasty thing fly in through the window, and I haven't been able to find it anywhere, but I, I think maybe it electrocuted itself somewhere because I can smell this awful burning scent throughout the house. Burning scent? Can someone come find this thing and get it out of my house? Okay. Anyway, I gotta finish this rain nymphs. Rain nymphs are very preventable in that their pleas to be let inside can simply just be ignored. <laughs> it's advised to stay away from doors and windows during rainstorms to avoid having to endure a rain nymph's various temptations and threats. Don't even bother. Just walk away. Okay, so apparently this guy's got some... Something died, or he thinks something that He saw something big nasty. Something big nasty fly through the window. Uh, he doesn't know where it is. He can smell burning things. Uh, shit, I don't know. Maybe it's a dream meter? Oh. I didn't get to reading about the dream meter. <laughs> no. Hmm. This one's actually... I'm stumped. I'm stumped because I didn't look. <laughs> I'm stumped because I didn't finish reading everything. Damn it. No. No. I'm just gonna say it's a Dreamweaver. No, no, no. What, what could it be? What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? Betty? Boga? Closet Labyrinth? A Beast? Bush? Fracture Hobbs? Gopher? The Gopher. <laughs> it could be a house fire. <laughs> Have you tried thinking that it might be a house fire, my man? Lamp Sprites? Night Gnome, Night Wisp, Pipe Earth, Pipe Pot. I'm trying to remember all these now. It's it's starting to get a little difficult, as you can imagine. Uh Damn, this this Terraria playlist goes hard. What the hell? Damn, I need to get the OST of this later. Um Hmm. Fuck it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw a shot in the dark and say it's uh it's a Dreamweaver. No, it, it can't be a Dreamweaver. It has to be something else. The Gopher. Oh, shit. I have to scroll all the way down. Uh, in all honesty, I'll take my shot in the dark and say it is a Soad Sprite. I didn't get to reading about that one, but I'm 20% confident this is it. Boom. In you go. Let's just assume I got that one wrong. Let's read up on snow on the, on, not snow, the snow, so sprites. Shut the fuck up. It, Albert. It took my daughter. It took my daughter. She's right there. She's gone. It wrapped its awful tendrils around her and took her down with it. I saw it with my own eyes. Please send help. The police won't do anything. Send help. You don't sound that. Sir, I hope I hope this doesn't like offend you or anything, but you don't sound you don't sound that concerned. You sound pretty chill about it, in a matter of fact. You're like, yeah, my my daughter's gone. It took her. Uh, all right, I got the soap sprites wrong. That guy's dead. What what could have been Night Wisp? Maybe I was thinking it might have been a Night Wisp. No, it's not a Night Wisp. 
Lamp sprites? Flicker burn causing a burning smell. Damn it. Damn it. It would have been a lamp. Lamp. Fucking damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Dreamweaver. Let me check. Our parasitic in nature and feed off the dreams of humans while they sleep. While this does not cause any direct hum uh, harm to humans, it can lead to increased anxiety. And large webs that can weave can often trap dust, pets, and children, causing further complications. Uh, yeah, this is just arachnophobia. Shit, I should have gone with lamp, lamp thingy, lamp, lamp, lamp sprite. Yes. Anyway, what's what's this? Oh, oh yeah, you got a. a I hate to tell you, your your child's gone. They got hit by the sprig vines. You got a sprig inside your household. You better be careful about that. <laughs> Adios. Better get some weed whacker, pal. Call in the dragonborn or some shit. Ah, what a good day of work. Oh, gotta relax, chill back, think about everything I've done so far. Ah, let me just go through some of the things I don't recall that hard. Wine sprites. Yeah, just just wine stuff. Oh. Hello, employee. Hi. Supervisor Carol here. We've received complaints that some of the answers that you have been providing have been what? Inaccurate. What? I urge you to think more carefully on the answers you provide before we are forced to terminate. You've been warned. What? I thought I've been doing a good job. What? I can't believe my cause. My boss just called me telling them I've been fucking up this entire day. What do you mean? I messed up. I don't think I messed up at all. Well, I, I messed up with the um, I messed up with the last with like the guy that was talking to me. Uh, with, yeah, I messed that one up. I haven't messed any others up. Yeah. Why do I feel sick? Yeah. You got the AIDS, pal. Yeah, here's the thing. Maybe I should have realized when you say you got zapped by the lamp, it would have been lamp spray. That's my bad. That that's that's an on me thing. Sorry, Andy. But you got AIDS forever. <laughs> Adios. Hate this sucks to suck, pal. I only messed up once. Maybe twice. Well no more than twice. All right, I've been doing a good job. Let's listen. It, 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 it stole me. It what? stole me. I'm, I'm not me anymore. I'm, it, 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 it took me. It took me. I can't see myself anymore. I'm gone. Help me. Help get me back, please. Well, about that. What you're dealing with is a good old uh, mirror nymph. She's stolen your face. Here's the thing. Here's the good thing, lady. Purchase yourself a near... Just grab your nearest, like, big club and kill the fucking thing. <laughs> there you go. Bada bing. Easy solution, am I right? There you go, lady. Have fun with that. Have fun with that. Have fun with your quest. Go find it and kill it. Get the neighborhood watch or something. Easiest job in the fucking world. <sighs> Nobody can do my job, though. I'm pretty good at this. Woo! Ah, it's about time to clock out. Am I right? Go ahead and look some Night Wisps again. Oh. You were no help. I, I won't let her stay underground with that thing alone. I'm going after her. Tell my mother... Yeah, no, it was, it was the, uh, first of all, I don't even know who your mom is, but it was it not the Sprig Vines. Did you not try to fight a Spriggan? Spriggan's been evoked. Oh, wait, this ain't the right one. Oh, oops. Wait a minute. I didn't, hmm. I might be fired in a second. Hold on. It was Floor Roots. I thought that was the Sprig Vines. Oops. Children in this house, and this is a very serious hazard to their health. 
before you say anything, yes, I already called the police, and they told me to call this number instead. So, I assume that you will send over the proper authorities to deal with this matter promptly. Lady? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but what you got is, a uh, freaking the horde. It's a, it's a kind of legion kind of thing, you know? It's a, it's a, you, you, you need to move out now. If you want to survive, you gotta leave. Because it's not gonna go away. <laughs> the house value is gonna go down so much. Fuck, it was the floor, it was the floor roots. I thought it was, I thought, oh, I confused that with the sprig vines. Oh, I should have just looked instead of being, you know what, whatever, that guy's dead. Yeah, yeah. In the last few nights, we haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something. Someone keeps flashing these bright lights through our windows at night, but I haven't been able to see who's doing it. I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth. These stupid teens? I don't fucking know, man. I'm, I'm not confident in myself. It could be house fires for all I know. It could just be a huge, crazy house fire every single day. Um, hmm. He says that... It looks like he's trying... It's a nighttime kind of guy. Outside with flashlights. There's bright lights through the windows at night. Which makes me think it might be a... A night wisp. Because they do provide light. Yeah, forms of uh, bright floating lights. But they would have said something about... They would have said something about it saying things. So that one's kind of like a mid, mid answer there. Not a pipe hop. Hmm. Not a unicorn fungi. It's not trash gnome. Hmm. Soap sprite. Let me see what the soap sprite does. They're known for consuming bacteria and harmful microbes. Sick. They often occupy bathrooms, appearing similar to pink bars of soap in order to feed off the meals they use them. They secrete such like substance that is used to digest their meals. Despite their bacteria-eating lifestyle, are frequently known to spread deadly diseases faithfully. Okay, so if you try to wash yourself with this, this like, crab-looking guy, you're gonna give yourself the, the fairy aids. Not good. Not great at all. It's not lamp sprites. At least they have to go inside the lamp for it to work. It's either... It's, it's so far what I've got in mind. So far? Night Wisp? Or a straight up house fire. We don't know which one it is yet. So let's just let's let's bunker down and try to get some more answers here. Cross false rosebush, false beet, false flower. Hafees, definitely not that dream weaver. No, he's sleeping well. There's no lights happening there. Uh, no way there's a closet labyrinth outside showing lights. Mmm. Bees. No, I don't think it's the bees. Alright, I'm just gonna go with my first answer. I'm gonna say it's a Night Wisp. Unless a Raid Nymph can do that. It's not raining. He didn't say anything about raining. But the glow in their eyes that often appear near windows as can be let inside. Fuck, I... Glow in their eyes? Why well, it would be a bright flashlight? It says bright lights. There's only one thing that says bright lights, and that's this one. Bright floating lights. Hmm. Fuck it. I get fired, so be it. I don't care. It's not like I'm... I've already made my check, alright? Where's the night light? Night... Night wisp. Boom. Hopefully that'll go well. Just ignore them, man. Just ignore them. You don't need a security system. They're just kind of there. Just trying to chill. Let me listen to them. Oh. Please don't let it be my boss. Oh, hey, thank God. Uh, so I think I found some kind of door. Don't enter it. I know, like maybe I should step through it. Please don't. Yeah, I think I think I need to go inside. The wind feels so nice. It's a portal. Oh, she didn't even 
wait until she finished calling to get inside the stupid portal. She's gonna be the next Isekai protagonist. What kind of protagonist's name is Patty? Ah! What you're dealing with is a portal. Let me see where it is. Oh, I gotta confirm. I've messed up twice. They have cold drafts, strange dreams, and the strong desire to enter. And she has a wide variety of dangerous elements in her own should be dealt with as soon as they're discovered. They could potentially introduce heating problems to their home. Ah, uh, portal shaped openings. Okay, versus that. Versus a closet labyrinth. Okay. This one doesn't say they have a longing to be in here. Diminished war of hidden riches. It doesn't seem like. I'm gonna go with portal. Alright. Boom. Portal. Please don't get me fired. 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 I, I actually need to make it through today's rent. I, I haven't paid last month's rent. It's still due like a shit ton. Of I, I need this money real bad. Please don't fire me. Please don't fire me. I screwed up twice, but that was just because I was looking. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a good worker. I promise. Please, please don't fire me. I'm going to look at these cockroaches now. Ah, oh, little buddies. I know these guys. These guys, I know. I know how to get rid of them. What's going on? Duels. This might like sound strange, but I think there's some kind of like squid or something in my bathroom. Like I went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night, you know, and I could see something slithering under near the sink with its like uh, little tentacles or like tendrils or you know whatever. But when I turned on the lights, nothing was there. <laughs> I checked under the towel, like under you know like that little soap thing and everything but i know it's somewhere like it's too freaking big to have gone down the drain still gotta be hiding in here please hold let me check something real quick I'll be right there you might have you might have fairy aids. I don't know what to tell you. You're dealing with a soap sprite. They're just guys that like to clean and they're kind of soap shaped. Ah, uh, you touched it, right? With or without gloves? Yeah, don't answer. I already know from the I already know from the sound of you. 70%. Alright, that, that's fine. I'll live with that. I can live with that. C. C C C C. I messed up twice. Oops. Uh, there's like something in my computer now. There's like, uh, hmm. Hmm. It's not looking good. I think I'm getting processed. All right, let's just open up my mailbox. The address is no longer active. If you are receiving this email, it's because you haven't you have been emailed by this address before. This employee this the employee this address registered to is no longer employed here at Hot Home Safety Hotline. As of 4 30, 1996, this address will be shut down and will no longer be able to send or receive emails. Still need support from SAHSH. Please email us at support HSH mail. Uh thank you. Now Mike didn't really say anything. You know? Mike just said a lot of things, told me to go inside a hole. I don't really trust Mike. Mike could have been some random mouse that got smart enough. Oh, God. The mice must have gotten smart enough and tried to convince me to go into a hole and then got eaten by a mouse. Yeah, that's pretty much what it was. End the story. What's up with Thunder Peak? Great American Hikes. Brought to you by the Home Safely Thunder Peak. Thunder Peak is one of America's most dangerous yet rewarding hiking locations. In this guide, we'll show you how you can be best prepared for one of nature's most beautiful trails. Why did I get this in my computer again? I, uh... I 
Supplies. All right, let's see. Maybe I might need this. Hold on, I might need this. Survival skills. As with any hiking trail, you'll want to ensure you come prepared with supplies to help you meet the demanding physical trials ahead. Yeah, like living, killing, and cooking. Make sure to bring hiking boots. That's one. Water bottle. All right. Iron sword, you definitely need one of those. That one's actually a beauty. That's an antique right there. Climbing gloves. So, so far we got the Link kind of exploration kit. If you don't have access to all these materials, be sure to consult one of the Thunder Peak Park guides before embarking. He gives you a dagger instead, which is pretty embarrassing if you're not a dex build. The trail. Alright. Thunder Peak is a straightforward but steep trail consisting mostly of switchbacks, leading through a natural cave and finally a short climb up to its pristine peak. I see, so it's kind of like a zigzag. We gotta be up there, there. Oh, oh. Oh, like this, yeah. Pace yourself as you progress. This post conserves energy and helps you appreciate the scenery around you. It is very beautiful, I will admit. Man, this is a good location. Wow. Wow, this is really cool. Be sure to stop and read the info. Signs littered along the trail. Alright, let's take a look here. Be on the rocks. Alright, uh. I can't really read it because there's so many things in the way. Since the early 1900s, d d d d d d has been a favorite place for peaceful to visit. As a result, the caves have been equipped with electricity and made accessible for a guided tour. Well, that's cool. Alright, alright, alright. I can't read the rest of this. I mean, I could try, but I wouldn't get it. Uh. Not all caves are easily accessed. To help build our understanding of caves, explorers face many to all in all right. That's all the info I'm gonna get. When you see red and yellow lines, it means you are a high rockfall area. Travel with caution. I was actually kind of expecting a rock to fall on the guy. <laughs> Once you've entered the quiet zone, remain completely quiet. As you approach the cave entrance, remove your hiking boots. You're gonna you're not gonna need those anymore. Just make sure you get some cheap ones. Oh, I have those exact same socks. <laughs> I have those exact same socks. Right now I have no socks because I'm a I'm a rebel. Enter the cave. What if it's locked though? When inside the cave, move carefully and quietly. Do not stop. And this is just like the standard, right? Follow the lights. Do not stray. Mm. Mm. I I honestly can't see where to go from there. If you hear this sound, stay still and unsheath your sword. Then that guy fucked up. He didn't. I didn't hear him on Shia the sword. He he doubted. He he hesitated for a minute there, and then and then that's it. End of tape. Once you exit the cave, put on your boots and gloves for the final climb to the peak. All right. Sounds good. You made it. Now enjoy the view. You have to go through that scary cave back when you go back down. They're not like just like an elevator or glider. Oh, this is this would be so cool to glide from. Holy shit. Oh my god, that'd be so fun. Oh my god, that'd be so fun. Look at all that area. Oh, that was the end of the video. Oh. Man, I wanted more. Oh well, let's get back to work. We're plucking in on a Saturday. Fuck me. I was gonna go watch Oppenheimer. Damn. I guess I'll have to clock in to work instead. 
Okay. Same old guys. Ah, oh, fuck you, bed bugs. I goddamn hate bed bugs. I despise them. I hate bed bugs. Looking at them makes me even angrier. I'd rather just look at carbon monoxide. Ah, oh, come on. Park employee. Hawk! Hello. I've updated thy permissions to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Thank you. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. Oh, oh. Well, I mean, if you says, <laughs> Carol, <laughs> I didn't know you had this side for you. All right, I'll prepare thy body. All right. <laughs> all right. Permissions have been updated. New entries now available. Warlock Remnant. <laughs> Who the hell's this guy? Who the hell's that guy on the right? Which which one's the face and which one's the warlock remnant? Warlock remnants are residual presence often left behind by former warlocks, most commonly inhabiting older households, castles, or underground dwellings. God damn, I'm trying to read here. Brittany? It's probably a wine guy, but hold on. Wine Sprite. They consume wine. They are long, lar large eyed winged creatures. So they can flap. They can't they can be flapping. They have a long proboscis that they use to drink. Uh, repro broken glasses and wine having rotten taste and smell. She didn't say that part. Mm. Well, anyway, let me get back to Warlock Remnant. I'm more interested in this guy. Uh, home war homeowners experiencing warlock remnants often report objects moving on their own. The sound of hostile warning whispers or sighted bearded big figures in reflective surfaces. Uh, that's just me. That's just me right there. Warlock remnants, while a hostile presence, are mere echoes of their former selves and are generally harmless. Their ability to manipulate small household objects can prove hazardous to less cautious homeowners, however. Homeowners can purge the remnant from their home with the use of the Sealy Stone. The journey through two ones is both long and perilous, and not recommended. If a warlock remnant proves sufficiently hazardous or inconvenient, it is highly recommended for the homeowners to just simply relocate. That's a troll. Yep, that's a troll, all right. They're 12 feet tall nocturnal creatures that are normally not seen in the home. However, during the winter, they will deflate their bodies in order to fit inside homes and steal warm materials such as blankets or articles of clothing. Homeowners infested with the troll will frequently report missing clothing or claim to hear the shrill sounds of air escaping in the middle of the night. Trolls are very dangerous to humans when they are startled. Thanks to their ability to inflate their bodies to their full height of 12 feet in a matter of seconds, their skin, despite its flexibility, is incredibly durable and will smash through the ceilings of most homes when fully inflated, causing property damage and injury to anyone in the vicinity. Do not ever approach a troll. <laughs> All right, got it. That the troll will leave by morning once it has secured its bounty. It is recommended to install repelling fixtures such as UV lights to prevent future break-ins. Hmm. All right. Oh fuck, Spriggan. Where is it? Is that in the middle? Alright. Spriggans are small green humanoids with uh, leaf life coatings on their bodies. They act seen rarely in households and reside primarily inside trees. Was the... No, it's gotta be right there. I think I see something. I just it's just kind of hard to see on this CRT monitor, you know? However, owner however <laughs> homeowners affected by spriggans commonly report rapid vine growth in and around their homes, and the feeling that the trees are watching them. One of these is gonna be like all right, so this one makes you unable to read and gives you the ability to just screw up simple tasks. And that, that was going to be me. And <laughs> that was going to be me. I'm going to be stuck with that one. Uh oh, my phone fell. Ah, no, my phone. 
All right. Springs are incredibly dangerous to humans when provoked, and physical contact with one will result in the growth of a sprig tree within the affected individual. Spriggans cannot be persuaded to leave the home. However, one can take precautions to prevent provoking a spriggan. Refrain from removing trees, flowers, or weeds on your property. Do not ever kill or hunt wildlife within view of your home. Do not eat any wild fruit or vegetable that may grow on your property. Consider making offers of water each night left in a clean dish on your porch. So just eat meat. Go for the all meat diet. Mm -mm -mm. They got reanimations. Uh, they're just zombies. They're just zombies. <laughs> just big ass zombies. Okay, we're spreading a wide variety of dead. Yeah, we look, it's just a zombie. <laughs> we, we could just say it's a zombie. Poop. Okay, so pukas are essentially shapeless creatures that, uh,. That inhabit homes in the shape and likeness of a household pet. They replace common pets such as dogs or cats and live in their place to watch homeowners eat and sleep. Okay. And they're just kind of weird and frightening. Polkas are relatively harmless to humans, but the scarred bodies of household pets they leave behind can over time create other pests and disease hazards within the home. A foul smell signifies decay and the discarded body should be found and removed immediately. Okay, I see. So they kill the pets and then take their shape. I see. That's rough. That's rough. But hey, you know, I get like a smart dog, though. Who cares about, uh, who cares about Brick the dog when I got Puka? This Puka cool. This is a cool ass dog. Pukas can be encouraged to leave a home by not drawing any attention to their activities. Pukas thrive on the attention they receive from frightened homeowners. So refrain from screaming and yelling when surprised by them and make attempts to ignore their presence whenever possible. So just be a bad pet owner. Neighbor's doorway. All right. There is doorway of door, door frame like structures that can often appear in basements or cellars. They're known to cause confusion to step through, as well as parallelism. <laughs> They're known to cause confusion. Huh? I could have sworn this would have taken me somewhere. Huh? No, neighbor's doorways do not cause any direct harms to humans, but if stepped through, the resulting parallelism will often result in unwanted household activities, such as altered behavior or perceived missing memories in the human who comes through the other side. So you become a different person. <laughs> you change, you change realities. Neighbor's doorways are tricky to remove without accidentally putting one's body through them and potentially triggering the parallel activity. They're survived to utilize HCS, HCH's doorway removal services. One can prevent neighbor's doorways from occurring by practicing mindfulness and not letting one's mind wander towards wishing for alternate life path. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. So we got leprechauns. Hmm. They got some, like, tight pants. Leprechauns are small humanoids covered in long brown hair that are known for consuming common household items such as Jewelry, silverware, and other preco precocious, other precious metals. In addition to being a household nuisance, leprechaun's appetite for precious metals can also cause long-term damage to heaters, furnaces, and other common appliances if they are not properly protected. Additionally, leprechauns can occasionally cause direct harm to humans in cases where homeowners have metallic and medical implants, such as braces, crowns, or joint replacements. Uh oh, uh, leprechauns will move on to other feeding grounds on their own once they run out of food, but more proactive means of removal requires physical capture. If immediate removal is desired, it is recommended to hire some help. Got it. Wait, do we have them all? Hey, we have them all! Okay. Sick! Let's read them. Bed hag. Okay, let me hear this. Damn, she's got some lung capacity. Bed hags are large humanoid creatures with an elderly woman-like appearance. They are known to dwell beneath beds, hammocks, and other suspended sleeping apparatuses. Homeowners invested with bed hags will sometimes report croaking or wheezing sounds at night, with the feeling of a heavy weight on their chest at night. Ugh. They're not dangerous to most healthy human adults, but small children and humans suffering from breathing problems such as asthma may be adversely affected by their presence. Bed hags are known to steal the breath of their sleeping subjects at night, causing a shortness of breath and sometimes sleep paralysis. It was her! It was you this whole time, bed hag! 
Bed eggs can in fact be beneficial to a home as their presence can frighten off other pets, such as various insects or mice. And in the cases where bed hag is undesirable, it's advised to remove them. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. And finally, Autumn Vines. Come on, guys. Let's give it a round of applause. We finally got everything. We, we were that high up in the chain. Woo! We're up. We're going to get promoted. Yes! All right, they're just, they're, okay, they're just leaves. Autumn vines are vines with orange or red leaves that are known to slowly grow over a house, frequently occurring during the fall. Homeowners with autumn vines often report feeling busy, lightheaded, or blissful. I feel good. I feel great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Doc, I feel, I, I'm feeling good. The pheromones autumn vines release in the air, while not toxic, can often cause household accidents thanks to their blissful, dizzy effects. Dizzy effects. Remove autumn vines from a household. Locate where the initial growth is coming from by expecting the soil around the home for an extended red parent vine. Pull this vine out by the roots and burn it. Prevent autumn vine growth by making regular offerings of insects or meat substances to the ones beneath the soil. Oh. Also, let me just go ahead and tell you, it is without a doubt the wine sprite. Boom. There you go. Sorry, that took like three hours for an answer I knew. But hey, that's just how it goes when you're put on hold. I had like 15 other customers, lady. What do you want me to do? I'm sorry. Everybody's as important. Oh, it's hey, Robert. Yeah, thanks for nothing. I called again recently about some kitchen noises and your people once again sent me bad info. Maybe vet your people better. I'll be going for help elsewhere. Now we're having power outages, so who knows what this thing in our house has got into now. Goodbye. Damn it. It was definitely... Ah. Uh, it was a hob. Fuck. Now it's pissed. That yeah, Robert's fucked. I'm sorry. I failed you. That that was me. That was on me. I thought, was, I thought for sure it was an animation. You heard creaking noises. It made sense. Oh, we didn't read a door joke. Dorch is the one who delivers. Homeowners experiencing Dorcha commonly report feelings of immense dread and the sensation of being followed or pursued. They may also experience visions of a great lurking shadow. Dorcha will deliver that which it seeks. There is no coming back from deliverance. Dorcha is otherwise harmless to humans if it does not seek. Alright, don't be fucking found <laughs> by Dorcha. So, uh, I, I think something may have died inside my desk. It stings to high heavens and something is leaking out of it. I have to lock the door to my office since my kids are overly curious about the smell, so I need to know what to do about this as soon as possible. That's not nearly enough information. What the fuck? It stinks to high heaven and something's leaking out of it. Wait. Please hold. Is it time for wood secretions? Is is it about the smell? Yeah, lady, have you been smacking that desk recently? You better be careful. That that wood secretion can kill you. It's oozing. Watch it. Throw that shit out. Time for a new desk, lady. The wood secretion. Boom. Poof. I'm doing good so far. I haven't messed up anything of today's order. Not yet, anyway. If I could finish this up, I could clock out and just read some manga. Ah oh, shit. Howard. I think there's someone watching me. Of course. Outside. Something is moving around in the trees and I can never get a good look at them, but I know they're out there. I've seen their eyes. I don't know who they are, but the police were no help. They just asked me stupid questions like if I mowed my lawn recently or if I ate fruit in public or something. Uh oh. Oh! Well, you, you see, pal, look, here's the thing, all right? Here's the thing. The police were actually doing their job, and if you would have known, if you, if you knew, you would have known. Rarely reside primarily inside trees. They're known to act violently. Uh oh, this guy, you're fucked. Um, you got the spriggans. You got the sprigandos. You're done. Goodbye, sir. I, uh, it was nice knowing you. I hope you become a beautiful tree. There you go. Well, that's that for that guy. 
Papukas. Ah, oh, that's so it's so strange. I don't like that. The portals. The portals seems nice. I mean, yeah, they want to. I mean, why wouldn't you want to enter a portal, right? But it's not like unless they say. Oh, hold on, I'm getting a phone call. My brother told me to call this number. Big but mistake. I don't know why. Things have never been better. Right? She's got the item blinds. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves. The way they grow around the house like a warm embrace. Yep. Things are good here, brother. Things are good. Would you tell my brother that things are good? No, they're Please actually not. Good. Lady, you've got the autumn sick. You got the autumn spice fever. You need to stop drinking that autumn spice so much. All right, try, try something else in a while. Pumpkin spice, autumn spice. Who the fuck cares? Say you're the basic. You be gone. It's fine to be basic, but try adding some variety in your life every now and then. God damn. That's I don't know. Add some soy or something. I don't know. Use 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 oat milk. All right. Bed teeth. Which ones have we still not seen? We haven't actually seen one from bed bugs, and that's crazy to me. Jill. I don't know. I, I'm not where I should be. Please, I was told that you could help me. My family. They uh -oh. aren't my family. I, I don't know what's happened. Uh, please tell me how to get back to my family. You moron. You freaking went through neighbor's door, you stupid idiot. What? What? You think it's life's not good enough for you? Huh? Is that is that what you're thinking? You do you think you think that like just because you didn't win the uh, lottery one day, you're imagining what you wanted to do is to win the lottery? Fuck you! Uh, I'm telling you what you need to do, but I hope you never get back. Be gone. I'm just doing my job. What an idiot! Only why would you walk through that? <laughs> what would make you think to walk through this? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's quite big too, which has me worried that whatever produced this might still be in the house. Because who knows For how sure. big this thing is. I mean, my dog can't even lay down something that big. Please hold. Okay. You're you're messing with the troll. No, you're not. Okay, uh what was it? One of these. That was one of the new ones that I was talking about rotten eggs, I'm pretty sure. Oh, which one was it? Was it a reanimation? Rotten eggs, rotten eggs, rotten eggs. It specifically says rotten eggs. One of these. Hmm, puka? Was it a puka? No, it wasn't that. Okay. Hmm, cobalt. Nope. Oh, Alright. Alright. <clears throat> it's one of these. It's gotta be one of these. You know, for a fact, it's... It can't be a bed hag, can it? No, that's definitely not. Hmm. Orcha? I, I could have sworn one of these. Feels like a rotten... Which one of these is it? Can't be the horde, cobalt, no. Leprechaun, it's gonna be a leprechaun. Fuck, no. Which one of these is it? God, I have so many, I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Trash gnome? Can't be a trash gnome, can it? No, wait. Report the smell of rotten eggs, finding large clumps of fur throughout the house. Tip charge and large crunching sound now. But that large crouching sounds at night. Hmm. I'm from my dining room and I looked to see what it was. Just an awful, disgusting pile of crap. It's quite big too. Gotta be a trash gnome, I think. Nothing else tells me it smells like eggs. Hmm. I wish I could just control find egg in this entire research list. But I think that's about it. Pipe growth, I don't think it's... No, it's not that. I'm here looking through this list, trying to see what disgusting thing she has in her house. 
while she's just holding with bated breath for something i don't know normal she's probably gonna expect me to say something like oh you got cockroach infestation no you got a you got a goddamn goblin <laughs> yeah the fucking goblin in there better be careful that's no i'm, I'm just gonna say it's a freaking trash gnome I don't know how tall they are though. I wish it would tell me how big they are so I can confirm. I don't feel like it's a mistake. That has we should also remember. I should probably remember this. Mm. Oh, phone call. Hi, Paul. Uh, I'm not sure what to do anymore. Uh, my kids can't sleep at night. I've been spraying about 50 different kinds of pesticides all over the place, washed and scrubbed all the bed sheets as much as freaking possible. Yeah. And every night it's the same story. Bunch of edgy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. and begging to sleep in Papa's bed. I'm fresh out of ideas. 50 kind of spreads. Okay. Well, scrub is and every night's the same story. Bunch of itchy kids with nightmares. Could it be a Dreamweaver? Does it make it itchy? It could lead to increased anxiety. The large one. Okay, not that, not that, not that. Dorcha maybe making people itchy? Mm, no. Then it might be a bed hag. Oh, God. I hope it's not a bed hag. Also, it might be bed bugs. Guys, it could possibly be bed bugs. But they have nightmares, so I don't think it's the bed. The bed bugs don't cause those. They, you actually sleep real well with bed bugs, and you don't notice until the next morning where you're like itchy. I'm like, whoa, what the hell are these like rashes I got here? Strange. I guess I must be allergic to something. No, there's dead. There's bed bugs. <laughs> it's not bed hag. Fuck. Could it be? Warlock fragments, definitely not. Ticks. Ticks don't cause nightmares. Uh, the animation is definitely not Puka, definitely not Mole, Mirror, Nymph, Leprec Lepre no, no, Leprechaun The Horde, Gopher, Gopher again Could it be a, could it be a Dreamweaver? Let's see be out the dreams while they sleep. While this does not cause, it could lead to increased anxiety, and the large opposite dream can also trap dust, pets, and children, causing further implications. Uh, to remove a dream, a host should refrain from sleeping for as long as possible in order to stop the creature. <laughs> yeah. They are known to cause near to only dreams about things being covered in webs. Huh. Maybe it might be a dream weaver. Bunch of itchy kids. They might be thinking they're itchy, you know? I'm gonna go with this. Alright. You're dealing with some kind of dream spider. Good fucking luck. Spider-Man ain't gonna save you with this one. Bada bing. Well, that one's... I'm like a 50-50 on. Ah. Uh, but I am doing a great job, I think. Feeling good. I'm feeling great. Oh, another phone call. Oh, it's Charles. Okay. Do you want to explain to me what the hell is happening? I don't know. I week to ask why my home heater has been having issues, and nothing's changed after following the instructions you sent me. Uh, be quiet. I know your teeth hurt, but Daddy's on the phone right now. Braces. We're still freezing our butts off over here. So tell me what the hell is happening right now so I can get this fixed properly. Please You're messing with a leprechaun. <laughs> no, just, just real quick. Just out of nowhere. You're fucking around with a leprechaun. Good luck. You, uh, you can actually get this guy out of your property. This one's one of the lesser ones, but damn. It sucks about your kid. Alright, man. You gotta trust me here. It's a leprechaun. <laughs> Yeah, your teeth, your teeth, your your child's teeth missing because uh, he removed it is, uh, how do I say this? It's necessary for him to get out of there. All right. Trust me. 
Man, so many phone calls on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Edward. Pranksters may be giving my wife and I a run for our money. <sighs> Lately, my wife's clothes have started going missing. And Roll. at night, I keep hearing this strange cushion type sound coming from outside it's a troll I, I tried to scare the kids off by keeping the porch lights on at night and putting out a neighborhood watch sign but i, I think they're onto my tricks do you, you have any advice you can send me yeah man here, here's here here's how you do it switch it to uv lights and you that'll actually work believe it or not you're fighting a troll it's a losing battle, but trust me, if you get like some million lumen UV flashlight, it'll die before the day comes. Before the next game, before the next sun rises. Okay. That was really easy. Come on. That would give me all the hints I needed. All you have to, uh, man, all you have to do in this game is just read. I would sure hate to be a guy that just can't read. Answer. Tea Sprite. Gray when I heard this awful buzzing sound coming from the cupboard. I looked around inside, but I couldn't find anything but a few loose tea leaves. I'm quite concerned about the hornets and the bees and the like because I'm, I'm quite allergic to their stings, you know. So I just wanted to know if there's anything I should be worried about right now. It's already over. Hearing isn't what it used to be, after all. Please hold it. Lady, you got the AIDS. I I honestly don't know how these people. Why aren't we telling these guys about the spirits in the tea? Why are we not telling them about this? This just keeps happening. We aren't reducing the victims here. Are we? No, oh, yeah, we're a corpo. I forgot we're just corpo. It's it's a tea sprite. You don't have to game. Come on. She's she, even if I didn't know what the hell this thing was, she's saying so many things about tea. Earl Grey. I would have guessed it anyway. The fuck did she drink? Earl Grey. Ah, you dare try to stop me? With some weird ass network error. Screw you. Bring your. Now I wait for my next call. All right, time to open up chess on the side tab. Usually, what I do at my workplace whenever I'm just getting. Ooh, this one's kind of. This one's really crispy. I like it. Pick it up. Hi, we need some medical help. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what to say since I talked to our family practitioner already, but he said to call here, so we've been um, having some trouble sleeping. I thought it was just me, but both my husband and I started feeling shortness of breath around ah. the same time. I'm worried about something spreading through our house since our kids all have asthma and some particularly severe allergies. We tried washing Ooh. all the bed sheets in the house, but that didn't really help much. Thankfully, the kids haven't had any issues yet, so could you help us out sooner rather than later? So here's the thing. Here, good news. Please in the sounds, but there's only one of them. But uh, the bad news is you've got a bed hack. <laughs> it's like bed bugs, but like, what if it was a creepy lady just trying to suffocate you every night? Honestly, I'd rather have the bed hag. I think I'd rather, honestly, yeah, I'd rather have the bed hag than bed bugs. And the bed hag would also prevent the bed bugs. I'd, I'd, I'd take three bed bugs, or three, three bed hags over any bed bug any day. No lie. I'll take it. I fucking despise you. It's small. I can't see you now, but don't think I can't. I can't feel you from here. No, you exist. Oh, sorry. I was, I was I was thinking too hard. So uh, I've been hearing this weird sound coming from the walls. Yeah, I think I'm I can hear it. Sure what it is, but I've been having a hard time sleeping at night because of this sound. Can you hear that? It's been nonstop lately. I replaced all of my smoke detector batteries and everything, but I cannot figure out you, where you, the sound is coming from. You idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm real unprofessional me. You, she's a fucking dumbass. Why'd she think that's her fire alarms? <laughs> like, come on. Could it be a warlock remnant? Just making sure. 
No, it's not a Warlock Remnant. Damn, that would've been fun. What could it be? It's the thing that makes noise, or is making noise, as it is. Hmm. It's in the walls. It's active at nighttime. Uh, smoke detector it doesn't. Okay, right here. Hmm, Dorcha. A common report of feelings of immense dread and the sensation of being followed or pursued. They may also have experiences of a great lurking shadow. I don't think it's a Dorcha. I think she's still safe from a Dorcha. Hmm. This one's rough. I love this music, though. We're chill, we're chill. I don't think it's... I don't think it's carbon monoxide. Uh, I don't... You know, I, I... I'll be crazy, but I don't think the carbon monoxide did it this time. What could it be? What could it be? Rain them? That's gonna be lead inside. No, they speak. Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah, I leave. I leave now. <laughs> leave the fuck right now. Get the fuck out. Yep, she's done. She's been in there for a while. I think she's over. I was saying, evacuate your home immediately. Do not return for any reason. Damn. I warned her as fast as I could. Shit. a fey feast my bad well you said a giant pile of crap what is this a part but i thought it was supposed to be edible are they not supposed to be edible very special ah you know lady i think it's your fault personally i think it's your fault you did it i think you fucked up okay hey paul hey, yeah paul here again thanks a bunch for nothing pal i followed the instructions you sent they did jack i ain't got no wink of sleep my kids are breaking out in all sorts of rashes well, I did the best I could out of that one. Could it have been the bed box? <laughs> oh, I would have been so mad if they. Oh, I would have been so fucking mad if they if it was the bed box this whole time. Oh, I would never let that down. Never live that down. Well, who else is gonna call me yelling at me? I didn't do my job. All right, come on, let it all out. Let it all. Out. All right, who's next? Come on. Thank God. New customer. Can you help me? There's this terrible smell in my house, and I can't figure smells. out where on earth it's coming from. I think it's upsetting my puppy Meatball, too. He's really been acting up lately. Ah. I can hardly blame him. It smells so terribly rotten. Please, can you help? Please, hold. Your, uh, your dog got replaced. Hey, you got a cool one now, though. You got like an upgrade, kinda. So it's not bad. It's not all too bad. Just make friends with a puka if you can. And then you'd be the raddest... You'd be the raddest pet owner in any pet show. You can make a living off of that. Yo, that's actually pretty nice. Like, look at this guy. This guy's standing on all twos. He's standing on his two legs. That's cool. I'd give res mad respect to him. Put, put some pants on him. And then he'll be super fly. Alright, what's up? Hey, it's Flipper again. Ah, it was you. The mouse trying to lie to me. Get the fuck out of my goddamn phone book. Well, not too bad. 84%. Ah, uh, I don't know what I... Honestly, besides the Fae Feast, I don't know what that other guy could have been. Uh, I, I, I swear if it's bed bugs, I... Mm, Mmm, if it's bed bugs. I missed my chance to call out the bed bugs. Ah. Well, 
Last day of the week, guys. I didn't even get a chance to chill. Entry browser. Check my mailbox first. Congratulations, employee number 36. We are happy to report that we are most pleased with your labors and are currently making all the necessary preparations for your impending dissension. Assuming you pass the trial. The soil is fertile. Keep up the good work and thanks for working through the weekend. No problem. Not a problem. No problemo. These are the entries. Okay. Travel gnome. Okay, so why do I have entry browser XE? Do I need these for something? Off into ants. Cello grotto. Let me take a look at the moles. I know you're in on this, man. Yeah, I fucking knew it. Don't think you can lie to me. Alright, and we clock in. All right, let's clock in. Uh, wait, can I just close it whenever I feel like it? The trial hath begun. Pass. Ah, damn it. Pause. Okay, I could do that. I could do this as well. Oh, hold on. Getting a phone call. Please hold. Okay, so this is just going to be a bunch of riddles. I see. I see. You are quizzing me without me having to look at this shit. All right, you are bees. It could also be bed bugs. Uh, six percent to showcase thy knowledge. Let's say I passed the trial. At least the first chapter of it. I'm going to get my super promotion, guys. We're getting in there. Yeah, looks like I can't check any of these. Well, thank God for my good ass memory. Woohoo! 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 A bed bug is gonna come up eventually, I swear. I'm not living, yet I clatter. I'm small, I'm weak, I serve my purpose, then I die. What am I? Please hold. Not living? Yet I clatter. I'm small, I'm weak, I serve my purpose, then I die. They got me. I honestly don't know. Ticks, toilet hob. Ladder. I'm not living. I'm. What the hell is that thing right there? Is th was that moving? I I might. Am I actually going a little bit insane down here? Uh. These. I thought it would have been animation from the first two sentences, and you know, I I think the first four kind of prove that. But I don't know what serve my purpose then I die means. I wasn't reading that hard into it. I guess. Oops. That's it. I'm gonna say you're an animation. I'll accept my death. Oh, I passed. Forge ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I will. Next one's gonna be Gopher. I swear to Christ, it's gonna be Gopher. Yeah. I am the beggar, I am the encroacher of the dry, I am friend uh, to the water of the sky. What am I? Please hold. You're probably talking about a rhyme nymph. That's what I think you're talking about. Because they asked to be let in. I don't- what- what does encroacher mean? <laughs> yeah, hold on guys, I don't know what this word means. Or rather, I don't think I do enough to say that it is, uh... A person who unlawfully occupies a piece of land. Okay, yeah, it's definitely a rain myth. There you go. Without a doubt. Press on, employee. Yep. You don't have to tell me twice. Or thrice. 
or five times I have to actually just shut up at this point I'm I'm, I'm doing it I'm doing it all right leave me alone <laughs> promotions mine uh okay there it is I am the harbinger of death. I am the bringer of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. What am I? Please hold. Okay, that one's actually kind of that. That one's rough, <laughs> actually. Hmm. Harbinger of death. Okay, the bringer of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. Two things come to mind is ah, fuck. There's more than that. I'm gonna just assume it's the two I'm thinking. Of. It's either a reanimation or a Dorcha. But bringer of pestilence really ruins the Dorcha theory because I don't remember it being stinky. Lack of old. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a second. It's a mice. It fits everything. It's the bringer of pestilence of the power of death and forever the nuisance. Mice. Yes! Rejoice? Hell yeah, I am. Riddles don't mean shit to I. Go, man! Ah! <laughs> I want to I want to taste the delicious dirt. Mm. Taste earthy. <laughs> Last call, I think. Oh, this one's easy. I seek the remains of those who have too much. Step within and they lose their way. You are a... Closet Labyrinth. Fun uh, fun things. They're, they turn into a RPG dungeon. Boom. Hell yeah, I'm expand thy mind. I'm outside now. We came all the way through the planet. It's that easy. If I mess up now, it'd be very embarrassing. I have to redo everything and I'm not sure if they do repeats. I don't know. I know thy enemy well. Here we go. Shit, this one's actually the rough one. We are companions in the gardens. We compel those who tread to tread no longer. What are we? Companions of the gardens? Please hold. Companions of the gardens. We compel those who tread to tread no longer. What are we? Carpenter ants. Gophers? Moles? Moles? <sighs> Not a raccoon. Seedling? Man, this one's rough. Sticks. Tread, tread no longer. Tread, tread no longer. Tread, tread no longer. What does that mean? Tread? You can build those who tread tread no longer companions to gardens travel no could it be a travel no we compel those who tread to tread no longer <sighs> going with garden gnomes or er, travel gnomes treading stopping to tread traveling that's my idea. Let go thy stilted soul. Did I pass? I'm not sure if I passed that one. That one was a 30% chance of succeeding there. In my mind. I think I'm still good. 
unless uh whatever her face is whatever her face is calls me and tells me that i i failed i have to be eaten by the moles now all right moment of truth it's a fucking mole it's a mole I am the dancer. I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. Please what am I? It. It's a fucking mole. Guys, we see them now. They're moles. It's a mole. I think without a doubt, I think it's safe to say it's a mole. Hmm. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. What am I? Careless light. Second oil and the careless light. Doom the weak. Or maybe? House fires? House fires? House fires? Hmm. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I am the Forsaken Oil and the Careless Light. Mixed together, it's a dancer that consumes the weak. I'm thinking House Fire. Oh yeah. Caliente. Descend. Oh, I'm so, I'm descending today. Let's go, let's go. I am going to go down to the bottom of the earth. I'm going to stop. Oh, no moles going to stop me here. I got, I know all the quiz answers. I cheated. Oh yeah. I went on check online and stole all these answers before it was time for the exam. Let's fucking go. I'm going to descend. Let's go. All right. What's the next one? Your Dorsha. Please hold. This one's the one that stuck out to me more. Dorsha. Done. I'm the seeker. I'm the one who delivers what am I? You seek and you deliver death. Boom. Oh, that one didn't change. Uh, did I mess that up? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That wasn't the wrong answer, was it? Oh. Scared me. Hello. Did I fail? Yes! Yes, go! Also, you got some like scaly eyes. Alright. Is this how it's supposed It's starting to feel itchy. Is this how it's supposed to go? I've never been promoted in my life. Oh, I can see colors now. Yoho. It's Babe. Whoa. <laughs> Please be not afraid. Come close. Are you a Spriggan? <laughs> Yo. I get a nice new hat for my position. Oh yeah, we've descended, boys. Let's go. <laughs> Congratulations. All hail our new junior Let's go! Who are these guys? Uh, guys? Is, is this some kind of like... Is this some kind of hazing? What, what's happening right now? Alright, I'll just I'll just let them do their thing. 
Oh, that was it? Okay, well. Thanks. I I love the promotion. It's great. Ah, uh, well, there you go. I got promoted. End of story. It's my life now. Let me load back into the computer, though. Oh, nice. I got the, uh, I got a new wallpaper, too. Options. What do we got? Unemployment immunity. Always display accuracy. Add button to skip call. Wait time. Available after promotion. Damn. I told you guys, I'm, I'm, I'm good at my job. Junior supervisor options. Damn, that's pretty cool. I get, <laughs> I get the ability to no longer be fired. That's, I, I wish all jobs had that ability. <laughs> all right, book. I am Nick Lives, creator of the Homelands. And I don't show me the art. Okay. Dungeon Dragons, Monster Manual. Oh, see, okay, I see, I see. Bestiary. New Magic. Looks like a Baldur's Gate character. Fun ghoul, fun ghoul. All right, analog robot. Yeah, this this is just like stuff. Yeah, this this looked really weird. This this reminded me of like AR art, but uh, I'm I imagine it didn't. It was just Photoshop instead. Goblin anatomy. Yeah, there it is. Why did I do this? This one was kind of weird. I was like, I don't know what they were going with this leprechaun version. Okay. That's where the Spriggan was? I didn't see that one. <laughs> That's enough of that. I, th I think I'm done for the day, guys. That, that last one kind of scared me. The fuck was that? I oh, no, hold on. We gotta, we gotta see the end of this. Okay. Scruffy fellow. Yeah, just a hat. Self-writing entries. In plain sight. Spritly little fellow. Yeah, some of these you can really see unless you zoomed in. Okay. Used horseshoes. I thought that pointless employee discounts for products offered by A would make a funny yet lore heavy enough content for high scoring incentives and base the look off of products of 90s infomercial ads. Uh, it's too bad I only got one. Originally, the game over ending was much simpler and to the point with Kyle firing the paper and wiping them before sending them away. After the promotion ending was written, I decided to come up with something a little more whimsical. Uh, I should turn it into a mouse instead. Oh, I see. So if you game over, you turn into a mouse. Oh, that kind of that kind of ruined that for me. Okay. The promotion crown. That's good. Get fake Carol's makeup. All right. Good. All right. That was fun. I had fun. I got promoted in th less than four hours. That's how I work well. Right? Future employers, hire me. <laughs> this is how quick I can get promoted if you let me do my talents. Okay. Well, anyway, this is fun. I think I'm going to sign off now. Ooh, and I think the Red Bull finally wore off. I'm not sure if I will ever drink this again. That was kind of awful. <laughs> that was a weird-ass experience. What the hell? But it did power me through without me being sleepy. So, food for thought. Anyway, goodbye. Have a good day, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever it was, have a good time zone. This is Goomans, off I go, and I'm signing off. Bye-bye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.